Bro, I was muted. Bro, I was muted. God damn it. Hi, how's it going? I'm Scum God. Slash, uh, Sanctification on Twitch. Uh, doing a stream right now. Where. And the intro's gonna suck because it was a joke. It was a. Oh, the camera's on. It's fucking ruined. God. I, I fucking quit this shit, bro. I'm out of here. After this one, I'm done. Swear to God, swear to God, man, I'm, I'm out of here. This shit sucks since day one, my eye. Real talk. But, uh... Today, we are going to be watching every single episode of Poorly Cooking with the King. But before then, here's our subject. The death grips is online with a bunch of kappa faces. <laughs> the way he said that. Death Grips is online with a bunch of Kappa faces. Uh, that shit true. I guess that shit true. Right now, I am sipping on some agua. Some uh, petit peu I don't know what other words, languages, like what water is in other languages. Uh, uh, misu, I think in French? No, in Japanese? Yeah, whatever. Water. Drip splash is water. It's water. Water. That's the that's language right there. Philadelphia language. Water. But, uh... This playlist was put together by Tyler Hansen. I also want to give a shout-out to, uh... Mr. Huff Stuff. I guess I'll give a shout-out to the SOK if I have to. Uh, Dark Side Phil Archivist. And, uh, yeah... These are the not not this guy. Fuck this guy. I hate this dude. Wait, can you watch all of them on his channel? No, you probably can't. Oh, wow. There, there it is. I don't. You, I don't think you can watch all of them on his channel. It's a thing. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. Oh fuck you! They're fucking wee bullshit. Get out. Simple French toast, and I might. I might need to watch that one. Actually, is that here? Fuck, it's not. Okay, for the sake of saying that I tried, let me try to find it on DSP's channel. Let me be a cool guy here and look through all this bullshit. Don't give me the primer, nope. That fucking note is disgusting. That little boop, I hate that shit. Three ep. Were there, are there like three hidden episodes? Oh, God damn it! you fucking bastard. Where's the first one? Where's the first couple ones? That's DSP tries it. That's smart, guys. Oh, God, no. And poorly cooking with the king. It doesn't exist on his channel. It's not a thing on his channel, I don't think. Not really. He made a salad one time. Holy shit. Homemade mini pizzas? What? That went crazy. I have to see that one now. God damn. But that's only the returns ones, though. I don't want to... I want to see the... What is that thumbnail? <laughs> Why is he pointing at it like that? It's so aggressive. Okay, well, I was going to say it was a... I was going to say it was two hours of content, but it's... Certainly more than two hours of content. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, 
that's that's that, I guess. Uh, you see, right now I'm I'm considering just like shilling this in the Discord, but I don't want to I don't want to put that upon anyone else. Well, best time to start is the present, I guess. That's also that's like Movie Bob right there. That right there is Movie Bob. I don't give a fuck. That's not. I don't know who that is. That's not felt well. Also, I like this. I like how his current channel has this shit. It's so bummy. Is that his, is that his actual fucking? Yeah, it is. His actual fuck. It looks so fucking bummy. Look at that shit. It's like a, you can't. It's it's logs. It's log. Who who's log? Is he log? And no one ever called it KOHV. Get out of here. Don't, uh... I'm being toxic, if you couldn't tell. Also. Why is there... He has so much shit. And he doesn't do this anymore. Doesn't do this anymore. Doesn't do this anymore. Well, he kind of does those. He kind of does those, I guess. Doesn't do that anymore. No, it didn't move. Cable Gaming's dead. Doesn't do that anymore. I don't know what that is. There's a fly in my room. Doesn't do that anymore. Doesn't do that anymore because no one cares. Kind of does that, I guess. Doesn't do that anymore. Doesn't. No. No, no. Hate Live is fucking dead as fuck. It's dead AF. Hamsters are fucking dead. RIP. Kinetic is gone. Meal vlogs. Oh, no, those are the Pandalit. Yeah, those are the. I'm not watching those. I refuse to. Wa- I'm sorry. I'm not watching those. I know I probably should. Didn't kill this lie. As someone who like cares, and like they're, they're not very long. It's like sixteen one-minute videos at most. Besides this one like, and that one, I guess. Like sixteen one to two-minute videos. So it's about like sixteen minutes in total. But it's like there's an ad, and it's like you're waiting for it to end. Nah. Next time, some other time. I should write that down actually. Yeah, I should. Hold on, hold on. Now the real question is why the fuck am I stalling? Why am I stalling? I have so much shit to get through. <laughs> Bill reacts is not a thing. Sign into the mic, by the way. That's good job me. I'm sorry. Leanna's birthday celebration, Leanna's dead. She's not dead, but she's not around anymore. Alright, fuck it. Let's just let's just jump in. Let's get this on, on the on the in the way, something in the way. What's up, everyone? It's DSP, and this is an unprecedented moment. I'm actually doing something that some people have asked for, probably just joking around, but I find myself doing it. Um, It is the morning of the release of the Mass Effect 2 DLC, The Shadow Broker, as well as the new game Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I am in turbo mode because if you can see over there on my TV... Uh, the DLC for Mass Effect 2 is downloading. It just became available at 7 a.m. Uh, on the East Coast of the United States. I'm downloading it, and I am fucking starving. I was up all night playing a couple other games. He sounds drunk uh, as fuck right here. And I am starving, so I got yeah, he's drunk. going here. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to whip up a couple of Express Mode... Express um, mode. Bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. Bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. Six go. pieces. Six pieces. Uh, three. Bread, uh, bacon, obviously. This is hardwood smoked bacon. Brings the whole thing? Um, eggs. The whole pack. Jumbo size white Jumbo eggs. Jumbo size uh, white eggs. So this man. <laughs> this dude was a beast. He was eating like a fucking. Like, I don't even know. He was, he was doing a dirty bulk right there. Holy. Bro, no, I have to actually... Okay, first things first. Frame by frame. 7-Eleven, 7 6 It's right there, man. Come on, fix it. I feel like Fred says the exact same shit, but you want to have your fancy fucking toaster. That's a fancy toaster. Fuck, it's like a $20 toaster right there. That's not the $10 motherfucker right there. That's, a, that's like 40 bucks right there. Look at that shit. That's that stainless steel side plating. Stainless steel? Stainless steel side plating. This dude in his fucking double fucking frying pan. That piece of shit.
that kettle, motherfucking this motherfucking kettle, and there's a big ass frying pan. You can't fix your fucking this fuck. Is that what is that? What's that brand? I'm really being mean right here, but still, the sick two three sandwiches. That whole fucking thing of bacon. You know, he's in that whole thing. He's not. He's a man's man. And then the motherfucking the jumbo size eggs. Pans, I have the jumbo the right size now, eggs. This man was a freak beast. Uh, obviously, you must put on your fan on the top of your stove whenever you're frying anything. Don't turn that off because I learned the hard way. As soon as I moved in here, all the alarms went off. Oh shit! The, the, the camera's alarm, off. So I'm sorry. Um, so, what am I gonna do? We're talking one jumbo this guy, egg. This one jumbo uh, egg. Slices of bacon per, per sandwich? sandwich? Yeah, per sandwich. There you go. Bread, uh, and, uh, you per know, sandwich. Cheese, which I've also prepared. First thing you wanna do, either butter your pans or spray them down. I mean, it's a per sandwich. Fucking butter. I'm in a hurry. I'm a gamer. So I I'm in the hurry. I'm I'm the gamer. Damn. I use the natural shit, the organic canola oil. You can use the other stuff. Doesn't really matter, but. All right, spray that shit. Get the cap back on. Get that shit out of no, there. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm distracted uh, first right now. Thing you want to do when you're multitasking as your pans are heating up. Oh, I'm right, sorry. Cool. The toaster's plugged in. Let's oh, get the bread toast thing. Blow, blow. Blow, blow. Get the toast. It's toasting. All right. Um. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm multitasking right now. That's how you know it's dangerous. Multitasking? No, I'm sorry. Warm. Okay. Um, Let me actually. I mean, right I'm, I'm so good, distracted honestly, right now. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Hold on. Pans or spray them down. I don't have time to melt fucking butter. I'm in a hurry. I'm a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so fucking stupid. I I need to. See, okay, I want to hear this in, in like just slightly slower mo. Not you know. Captions on, please and thank you. Uh, and just fucking okay. Uh, and uh, you know, American cheese. Which Yo, that the cheese is sitting First there. Grabs do, the you butter your pans or spray them down. Spray them down. I don't have time to melt fucking. I don't have time to melt fucking butter. Butter. I'm in a hurry. I'm a. Gamer. I'm in a hurry. I'm a gamer. Something about the way he starts spraying when he says I'm in a hurry. This dude's waking up in the fucking morning after a night of drinking. It's the, the sun's out. He's not, he's not in a hurry. I'm a gamer. So I spray my pans with this. All that fucking Pam. Pam. Jesus the Christ. Shit, the organic oh, the, oil. the organic the one. Stuff, the really organic matter, Pam. That's right, that good shit, right? Shit. Get the cap back on. Get that shit out of the way. Um, and I mean, not to be again, not to be Fred. I don't want to be Fred on this because I, I'm going to have to be Fred. Oh my god, is that a chatter? Sup, Derek? How's it going, man? This was my, one of my first, like, SOK videos, so I don't want to be friend on this. But this man first sprayed a pan do, with Pam, but he's putting up. Right, butter cool. in. The toaster's plugged in. Let's get these bread toast thing. Blah, Why blah. are you... Blah, blah. I do like toast. blah, blah. I do toast. appreciate blah, blah. All right, um... You gotta wait for it to, you don't want to throw stuff on a cold pan. That's true. That's true. That's a good tip, Phil. Lukewarm. Um, lukewarm? I'm warming it up right now. Like, with water? I feel pretty good, but honestly, the other day, All right, I then. fried some bacon. I threw it on there too early, and it took a long-ass time to cook. Oh, yeah, when you're frying bacon. That's not key, how heat works. Put it on a plate, double coat it with paper towels. Oh, my God, all these tips. Put the bacon down on there. When it's done, it's going to have a shitload of grease on it. You want it yeah. to absorb the grease. <laughs> It's gonna have grease on it, maybe because you put it into a, a pool of Pam, my guy. Ah, uh, the tongs. You, your bacon. you need to be, grab it from the end and flip it over when it's ready. You could use a spatula. You need a spatula to be able to flip your eggs. Duh. Duh. Um, don't be an asshole. Don't, don't be an asshole. Don't flip your eggs with things that are a spatula, like a spoon. I see He's so drunk right now. It doesn't work. You look stupid. Um, all right. Like he's hungover as fuck, so and he wants me to eat. He needs some carbs inside of him after a night of drinking. Obviously, depending on what kind of bacon you have, different <laughs> cooking times apply. This looks like a particularly fatty bacon-based bacon, bacon, cooking times. About I didn't know that. Um, oh my god. Also, the, the fatty Ugh. batch of bacon, bro. You fucking got it from the fucking Kroger. Uh, it's not really fancy. Why did you buy it then? You could see it in the back. Uh -huh. Not too happy about that. Actually, because I just had a batch of center cut Wait, bacon. where is he putting... Uh, center cut almost has no fat on oh it. Oh my god, this dude is fucking and, bacon uh, this talk. Is the complete opposite. This is Wait, why is he... Bacon right now. Ugh. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I, I don't wanna be that guy about it. So this dude is making eggs? Scrambled eggs, I guess, right? And bacon. So twenty nine cents for that's expensive, that's fancy boy bacon right there. That's that real bacon. So he didn't have another frying pan to just like make the bacon and like he had to use this pan? Why did he buy this fucking pan? What the fuck? I'm making three sandwiches. Because I thought he was going to put it in the actual frying pan. He had to put it in the in the Fancy Boy pan. Gigantic bacon. There you go. Why is it... Did he steal that pan? Is that a stolen pan? He's pissed. You can just, like, take it apart. You can just break it. Yep, thank you Come for on, that. Clown mode. Thank you. Yep, just shake the camera. Thank you. Yep, earthquake. Earth fucking quake fishing right now. Probably really appreciate it. Oh, wait, this is what cat sees. Good shit. This is cat paw. So it's gonna be cooked bacon, it's just not gonna be pretty bacon because of what's going on. The bacon I can't see what's going on actually. It's kind of just here. grabbing wow. that bacon. Really just handling it. So just handling his business. So intense. The way he's shaking the camera, it's so it's a it's an action sequence. God damn. Alright. Uh, hold on. Oh my god, it's cinema good. mode. The best mode. Let's go. Oh the tight this good okay, hold on, hold on. This dude, this motherfucker, this motherfucking dude bought Tyson bacon, and he's out here saying, oh, "I got a, I got a fatty batch of bacon, bro. You spent like four ninety nine at like your grocery store on that shit, bro. It's the most, gen it's the most generic possible bacon out there. I don't, I don't even, I, I don't have a Tyson bacon where I live, but I know what Tyson is because it's that generic. What the fuck? I got a fatty batch of bacon. You brought shit bacon." Fuck you. What? Now, I'm no bacon expert. I'm no nothing expert, but I'm pretty sure you can just kind of put it in the fridge. And it's not going to go bad the next day. Mainly because it's just a lot of fat and it's cured meat, I'm pretty sure. But also, I don't think any meat goes bad immediately once you put it in the fridge after like a day. Maybe like a week? Maybe? But I mean, that supermarket meat can last pretty long, bro. Uh, bread is good. So, this dude, so this dude, okay, so his process was like, hold on, let me take the bacon out it. and let it thaw. You think that's a drunk man? Because this guy is drunk as fuck. Phil is drunk as shit right here. You can tell. You think he? <laughs> Hi, outlet. How's it going, man? This outlet? So that's my. That hold on. I got a point. I got a point. Wait, that outlet right there? That's my best friend. Love that dude. Look at this dude. Hot. Look at it. It's just chilling. Yeah, We're just sitting here looking at it. I can't see what's going on. I'm sorry. Two eggs in the pan. Third egg is going now. You have a, you have a tripod. You have two tripods. How do you crack an egg? Oh, he's you pointing at this. Bro, just point it to something. I slam it once against my stove. And it works. It's very There's nothing effective. going on. Except for comments. Oh yeah, the bacon grease down the toilet. Yeah. Every single one. <laughs> exactly. Ryan gets it. Milo gets a blah blah. It grows to touching them. Leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. They're fine. Leave them alone. You can just break it apart when it's done. Toast just popped, <sighs> which is fine. I'm gonna let this fry. 
This egg got out of hand. <laughs> He's go. just molesting these eggs right now. He's harassing these eggs right now. God damn. All right, my toast popped. Get that toast out of there. Mm. Last set of toast is now going in. Yeah, my and favorite yeah. fucking version of bread. Toast. Look at that fancy ass toaster. Hold. Okay. So this dude can't have an. This dude doesn't. Have, this dude has a frying pan that's built like that. A, a two compartment frying pan. Next to this toaster that has a, like six buttons on it. What the fuck is it? Is it a, is it a controller? What do you, what else do you need? It's a it's a it's a fucking toaster. You toast one. What the fuck? What the fuck was this guy doing in Walmart? What was he buying? At what point do you think, man? I need to separate my frying shit, and I also need a toaster that has like six different settings to toast fucking bread. What else can it do? I have a really shitty toaster, by the way. So. That's a shitty toaster? Bro. Bro. So, uh. If your toaster actually works, you probably won't have these problems. Look at this toaster. What is this? Just does not want to work. Look at this shit. Slam it. Slam it. Slam it. The, ga the gamer rage. The gamer rage. Let's go. God like toaster. Pretty much because I had to pull it with one fucking hand. No, it's because the Pam. That's deep fried bacon well, right now. It is what it is. Fried. It's not what it is. You you did this. It's cooking. It is what you did. This is deep fried bacon. It looks disgusting. You go to a street fair this week again. It's all good. This bacon's almost ready to flip, but we'll leave it sit there for a second. Bro, it's bacon. It's not very. These eggs okay. They are gonna flip soon. They're almost ready to flip. See, all right, in one. Now. In one. See, this is how you know when to flip your eggs when they're solid. I love these fucking lessons. Why they got broken toaster? They look like there's no more liquid on the top. That's when you flip them. So no, flip they look now. pretty liquidy on top. Oops. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a very sloppy flip. And Oops. yeah, so was that. I broke the yolk on that one. That was a massive you failure. broke it on both, actually, but okay. Was, I'm trying to do it with one fucking hand. It's a spatula. It's made for one hand. There we go. That was it's cool. built for one hand. I don't... Do and you immediately, if you're going to put cheese on your eggs, you got to put it on right away. As of course you do. As soon as you flip an egg, put the cheese on. So I'm getting the cheese ready here. <sighs> it's stuck to my fucking hand, so that doesn't help. Yep. I, I concur. Cheese right on top. Sorry about the lens cap. Who cares? I think I care. I'm watching oh, it. Stuck. Yeah, I yeah, this is a bit of uh, bit special. Right all the bread is now done. Yeah. Doing all this with one hand. Yeah. Fucking cookies with one hand, you can fucking do it like a human with two hands. I I, ca I can do it. One hand. I actually can do it. You're right. So there you go. Three eggs. Basically, base three eggs over easy. All with the cheese, bacons. All with the cheese. Cooking, all with that cheese. cheese. Right the fuck down. This one is all fucked up right now because I didn't flip it. That's gonna be burnt. Now, first, pers personally, to give my, 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 the take of a of a gourmand, uh, when I make when I make two or more of anything, I kind of mix and match, you know. Like tonight, you know, it was taco night, so I I had I had some chicken going, I had some 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 braised chicken going, some like like you know some like shredded chicken. Wasn't great. It was okay, and there was also the ground, the ground, the ground beef. So I had like one, 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 one beef one, one chicken one, and when I had both, it's a little variety in there. You want to, you want to excite the palate. That's what I'm saying. But this guy, Phil well, over here, this is one all bacon. <laughs> this is what happens. All gamer that, cooking. That destroyed. destroyed bacon. Um, he obliterated it, and that bacon is raw as fuck. All right. It's in no, it's the Pam. Fat, That's the Pam. My my guess. No, no idea. usually you want to not use like Pam on a. The last batch I bought was center cut. I thought this was. Oh, I mean. This fucking bad. Ugh. All right. I know I'm speaking to a guy so who's. At definitely beef. more than six Over years in the past here. or five years in the past. This guy's literally like an it's, it's an eight year old version of Phil. The, uh... But still. He was like 20, 30 years old when this happened. Migrating the eggs over to the plate, which obviously is not big enough to hold three sandwiches. I don't know why you're making three then. Two fucking plates down, but I'm not that smart. Yeah, he sprayed the pan into the bacon, the bacon right. pan. 
which is why it's in a sea of fat. It's fucking deep fried bake, and the cheese is dripping. God damn it. Phil, why are you doing this to us, man? Bam. Egg number two. <laughs> what? Like this Effect is so aggressive. Just finished the Mass Effect DLC. <laughs> oh, Bam. DLC Mass Effect Big Ups. Hopefully those are still runny. Egg number three, <sighs> probably not, which is going to piss me off. It's going to piss him off because he's Eggs drunk, of course. Sandwiches. Eggs yeah, are on the please. sandwiches. Let's fucking go. Let's get a pog champ. Fucking... See. Look at this burn -ass fucking bag. Eggs are on the Before sandwich. Let's go. Plate, you have to shake it. You have to get the extra you have grease to, off of it. No, you put it... You it on the plate, you slam it yeah, that's why you put it on the thing, so you can you don't... Do you, it, it just runs off. You don't have to flip it. It's not cooking anymore. You can just kind of put it on paper towel. It's good. Bam. Bam. Wow, I sound like fucking Emerald. I'm an asshole. Yeah. He is an asshole. With an accent, and you say sound effects, and that's how you sell fucking cooking equipment. Um, all right. This piece barely cooked because it must have been on the edge of the pan. So that's no, I, I don't know what happened there, but something <laughs> happened. I'm actually gonna it just over here. Yeah, this dude just coughs on the fucking food. God damn. Well, those finish up. <laughs> this dude just Not fucking coughed on his on food. Cooking. I'm turning that off right now. It was on for kind of a while, my guy. You can leave that pan on the stove, but don't leave fucking pans on cooking. Trust me. Okay. I up two hours so for all the kitties who are, who might watch the, the archive of this, when you finish cooking something, change the fucking burner so it doesn't still cook because the burners have to reduce in heat. The heat, the, the heat must diffuse. You see, that's how heat works. So, well, it might not be as hot and continuing at that heat, it's still hot. So, Phil right here made a slight mistake, among many others. Later to see, oh, but shit, it's okay, episode one. I'm an he was trying his best. I burnt the fucking place down. <laughs> my stove was on, I'm an asshole. That's what I say all the time. All right. Man, he, that bacon is irritable. It's not, it can't come back. Shit right now. That's because I, I one really... Side was cooked, the other side was cold. It looks pretty like short. It, the, no, it wasn't cold. You had it bathing in Pam. Pan right yeah, I wonder why there's grease in the pan. Look, bacon looks cooked now. Maybe it's, it's the fucking liquid butter you put in there or something. I don't know, man. The bacon on the planet, but it'll do. Some dirty goddamn bacon. Goddamn. He, like, this is right. deep fried bacon. This is right. carnival food right here. Goddamn. Done. Jesus. And there's six pieces of bacon. Six. He's a little bit more... Soft and Three other. sandwiches. Mind, if you weren't cooking with one hand, this bacon would look beautiful. It'd be nice thin strips. I separated it with one hand, and it gave me problems, so it looks horrible. Like I wonder why Phil. Um, this I think this is, this right. is why Phil thinks that like. Now. Uh. Here's the thing. Well, Your maybe what he done. used to think that Your like cooking cooked. with the king or like okay. DSP the tries it means that he has to be unhealthy because like. When he thinks of DSP tries in that shit, his off. mind like switches back Baking to grease. this fill. Well, this fill, seven in the morning, he got he he got up. He took a nap at like one o'clock after drinking, and then got up at like six, turned on his, his like PlayStation, started downloading like Mass Effect DLC, and then made breakfast. And the breakfast was like three sandwiches. Three sandwiches full of fucking grease and shit, so you can like have energy to play video games. That's the kind of fill this guy switches back to, because that was a different fill. That was a weird fill. Current fill is way better, right? Honestly, big fan of current fill. He wouldn't. He would never do this. Put it in a jar. You can put it into another container. Whatever you do, if you're gonna put it in a jar, it let it cool down. Put into a glass jar. Do not no. put it into plastic or styrofoam. I've seen idiots. Put this in the plastic and styrofoam, and it fucking melts right through, and you look like a moron. Just let it cool you down. Glass jar, you can store it for a while. Just let it cool um, down. You, you could just let things. it cool down. Um, the most common thing that people do, I'm going to be honest with you, they either pour it down their kitchen sink, which is a bad move because the kitchen sink clogs all the time, or the other thing that I see people do, which I'm going to do because unfortunately there's nothing else I could do with this. You could put it in like a bag or something. I don't know, man. Down the pooper. Down the pooper. Even back then. So yeah. Oh, all those magazines. That's crazy. It's gonna go right down the shitter. Right down the shitter. Right down the poo. Do, as long as you know that you're not doing this, you know, ten times a day, it's not gonna clog up a pipe. It's not gonna clog up. You know, okay. The safest thing to do with bacon grease. 
Sizzle? Hey, the sizzle. Yo, that's sizzle, though. fucking potatoes. Okay, now I will... I'm going to defend this slightly. Which... Is this? The toilet pipes and shit are a bit more durable than, like, kitchen sink pipes. I'm saying this based upon nothing. Besides the fact that, you know, like, poo and paper goes down there. And, it, like... Okay, gross talk right now, I'm sorry. Shit is waste. The human body, I'm pretty sure, can't really, like, digest grease and shit. So a lot of poo is kind of just grease. So I can maybe see why this works out. Like, it's people are going to go like, oh, it's going to destroy your pipes. It's not going to oh, yeah, destroy your pipes, but, like, my, uh, oh, you could just let the bacon grease cool down. Scoop yeah, it out, put it into the garbage, and then throw the garbage oh, out. I don't, like because when I fry, oh, I can't I don't know why you... Well, that's because you're an idiot. <laughs> that's because you're an idiot. <laughs> he pours it down like the sink. This, you immediately, no. Immediately no. Put something in the pan to separate the grease. From yeah, the pan. fry this. Fry the soap. So, Thank you. Fry the soap. Yeah, fry the soap. Immediately get that pan cooled down. Just fry the. Yeah, cool it down. Cool it down. But I'm putting hot water. In cool it down. Cool. Do not ever put like super ice cold water in a really super hot pan. Where I live, the, the, the climate is temperate, but if you live in like a cold or hot area, you might break the fucking pan. But anyway... I have no idea what he's trying to say right now. Because the temperature outside might be really warm or hot, do not... Look, I understand the idea, don't cause extreme temperature differentials between your cooking utensils and like, whatever you clean them with. But I don't know how the outside temperature affects that. But okay. Also, that pan is still fucking dirty because you cooled it down when the grease was still liquidy, and just grease, oil, fat, fat, and water don't mix. In fact, they can't mix. So by adding water and soap to it, it it, it, it if you let it soak, which you probably will, it it will do something. But you can just kind of put some soap in that and soak it later. You don't have to do it when it's hot immediately. It's not that needed. It separates the grease from the pan, so later on when you go to clean the pan, it's a lot easier. Um, I, have a I mean, I guess. Pan. Unfortunately, it does not clean these pans very well. Is it because he broke it? Is it because he broke it? Is it broken? The biggest problem with my eggs, I can tell you right now. Yo, that, <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cold. I was able to multitask, and the cheese has burned on the edges. It's that's so fucking the cold. Eggs, the cheese burned on the edges. The eggs look actually fine. Bro, it's just cold um, as fuck. Eat your food, bro. So to finish no, eat your food. Obviously, this is a hot pan as well. Later on, you can wash. This just move from the burner. No just move it from the burner. Just Pam. You, you put something down on it. Just Pam on the. Bacon, the as okay. As I'm done making the sandwiches, I'm gonna and the bacon, bacon just sitting there. And I'm gonna get it into the freezer immediately. Um, but to finish the sandwich, that cold ass bacon. Sake, we're gonna put two pieces of bacon on each sandwich. This dude made fresh food, and then he bacon went. Nice and crispy. And then he went to go pour his fucking bacon grease, his sizzling bacon grease down the. So he made his food. All right, fair enough. Then he poured soap and shit. No, then he poured the bacon grease that that was sizzling, so it's popping and shit. <laughs> so the, the 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 bacon grease is popping and shit into the toilet water, which I mean, water you know, droplets and stuff. Sizzling, popping, toilet water, at least on his one hand. And with, with that same hand, the po the POV hand, he's going to grab the bacon and with his bare hand and grab the sandwiches and just kind of not wash his hands after. And then even if he did, he has a soap in there too. It's just it's just everything. The entire kitchen is on this man's hands right now. The yeah, whole you kitchen. The bacon however you like. Some people like crispy bacon, some people like rubbery bacon. <laughs> rubbery bacon. I guess these days I do prefer crispy bacon. When I was a kid, I liked rubbery bacon, but... When just I touch everything. Just go, who goes in the washroom mm. after making breakfast? Eat your food now. It's got. fucking cold. Some yep, snack and mic. Honestly, I think if he just blended it, he make it more nutrition. Bacon can be tastier when it's rubbery, however. Like a bacon smoothie at this point, man. God damn, heart attack realm. Fuck that shit. Yep, drop oh, bread. Drop the bread. bread. The floor. What is he oh, eating yeah. on right now? <laughs> That's a cooking faux pas. You can't have bread on the goddamn floor. You gonna eat it? I guess I know my floor is clean, so I can you pick the bread up. You gonna eat it? He's gonna eat it. Alright. 
Bacon, yeah, he made all three. Bacon, it's pretty intense. Kind of Seven o'clock in the morning um, to energize for his day of playing video games. So he makes greasy shit. He can't just have one sandwich. Maybe even, maybe even two. Nah, three. Fuck it. I'm balling today. Just touch the floor. And that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle the dirt onto your sandwich. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm going by the clock. If he shows it again, it might show. Hopefully. Show the clock, please. Damn it. Yep, touch the garbage. Touch the fucking garbage. Thank you, Phil. Damn it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. 7.28. So we started at like 7.09. Or 7.11 on the microwave. So I'm, I'm going by that. I don't think it was 7 p.m. Because it was like sun outside. It was like, you know, that, 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 uh, the dawn coming in. But the way this man, he fucking, he went to the washroom, poured sizzling bacon grease down the toilet so the water's popping up onto his hand. He can't it just drop with slight droplets of the shit. Fucking touches the soap, which I guess cleans it, sure. Uh, then he drops bread after walking around and all day with his, uh, especially clean socks, obviously. Then he like sprinkles a bit of the magic on there, that little seasoning. Throw that in the fridge right now. That little bit of that rat poison and on there. I'm pretty much set. I'm gonna devour these sandwiches. Devour. Jump right into the Mass Effect <laughs> devour. DLC, so. Devour. That was DSP's one-handed cooking, gamer food. This is gonna fuel me. It's gonna fuel him. The Mass Effect 2 it's DLC gonna fuel him. Until I go pick up Spider-Man and start playing it. Probably through that. What are you gonna so, eat after? You know, this is one of the. What are you gonna eat in between, Phil? Meals I'll actually eat today, which is about five billion calories. I'm sure everyone's gonna say, "Oh my God, bacon, devour and eggs." Yeah, well, when you don't want to go out to eat and you don't have time to cook yourself ten meals a day, this is what you deal with. So ten meals when you all right when you don't have time to cook yourself ten meals a day, you gotta make shitty sandwiches in the morning. You have to deal with ga gamers can't cook. It's always gin. That's how he starts his day, man. You know what's going on? Bacon, egg, and cheese. Super simple. Usually I do bacon, a little egg, bit and cheese this, and gin. Oh, a little bit more. I, I, uh, Four sandwiches next time. I have two hands to work with this, and I'm not worrying about the camera. I do put salt and pepper. Usually I don't <laughs> so eat bread, seasoned. So I put on bagels and stuff like that. Oh, and the bagels, of course. Do, but I haven't had time to do that. Obviously, I'm terrible. He put salt this, and pepper. Holy right. shit. This man's so, a beast. My first video of this style. And, uh... Send me your negative comments. Thanks. Yeah, they 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 sent so negatives in there. DSP the four a.m. The four a.m. sausage. Two, we can call that's what Leanna got, huh? The four a.m. sausage. Uh, that's what that's what Cat gets too. Starving. It is as you can see right over here. What time is it? I can't tell. Four a.m. You sure? Um, I have Which one is it? Right now. I Which one is it? I fell asleep. Which time is it, Phil? All right, I woke up it's one of those two. An hour ago, and I am ridiculously hungry. And I don't want to eat anything that's going to make me throw up or anything. I woke up an hour ago. And I am ridiculously hungry. So he was, like, drinking at, like, 10. Passed out at, like, 12. You know how it is sometimes. You know, he wasn't really tired. But he just kind of, you know, couldn't take it anymore. Wakes up at, like, 3. And is like, man, I'm kind of fucking hungry. Let's make some sausages. Like that, you know, I don't eat any junk food. No junk food. But, uh, I can't fall back asleep. So it means it's so a sausage, of course. And, uh, Bro, it's four o'clock. It's four a.m. An hour or two, and then get up. So what am I gonna make? Um, today I'm going to make scrambled eggs with cheese and seasoning, and I'm also gonna make. Oh, some, and uh, seasoning. Sausage. All right. Uh, not fresh sausage. Unfortunately, they, uh, <sighs> they well, not unfortunately, but what they had on sale at the supermarket this week, they actually had. Uh, Frozen sausage. It's frozen frozen sausage. sausage, all right. It's not the best. I mean, let me show you. I can't. I'm not a meat expert. I don't know what. It's not exactly the best thing ever, but it's still delicious. I mean, I don't know. It might be. Um, I, I can't see it. it. Show the meat. Well, since I'm already going to take the time to make homemade scrambled eggs, I've decided to make it in the pan as well and see if it tastes any better. And I guess this will be a good opportunity for me to judge whether or not it's worth it to make this sausage in the pan. Or uh, if I should just make it in the microwave from now on. Excuse me. Um, so what are your My apologies. You need if you're going to make homemade scrambled eggs, let me show you here. I'll run through it. You've got oh, walk through. First of all, oh, it's the guy. He's on the tripod now. Yo, it's yo. 
<laughs> there he is. That's young Dave right there. That's my boy. That's 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 that, that right there. That's the guy. That's four. A, that's four a.m. film. And as you can see, he was he was bursting out of that shirt. God damn! Look at those arms. Look at that. Look at that forearm. It's huge. It's fucking massive. He's so built. Thick ass horse forearm right there. And the drunken monkey shirt. Yo. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. That little, that, that little, little creepy. I shouldn't say what I'm going to say. I'm not saying those words. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. See cups. Obviously, you don't need Pam. Last time when we made the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches, you can use butter, but I don't have time to melt butter. Gamers don't like have time to milk. melt butter. I use lactose Known fact. I'm actually half lactose intolerant. If I drink <laughs> real milk or you know eat real cheese, real cheese, I end up being very gassy. So lactate. Um, I've got some shredded cheddar here. Why did the stream just fuck off? Stream it. Uh, yeah. Jumbo white eggs doesn't obviously. If you're gonna doing this, it doesn't have to be. All right, white. good job. It could be any OBS. Eggs, but as we talked about last time, I do enjoy the jumbo white. The jumbo white. I mean, one frying you know, pan for the scrambled egg. I enjoy the jumbo um, white too. Its name is Dave. Sausage, which we're gonna attempt. Um, a plate oh, you got a new pan. Big ups. Done, but some foil because for the sausage, and we'll talk about this in detail. But oh yeah, his sausage, ghetto sausage. Basically, what they're requiring you to do is they want you to for three. We're gonna make three sausage. Um, three. His, his ghetto sausage set up. Put them in the pan. Yeah. Put three tablespoons of water into the pan. Yeah. And, cover and steam the it. Pan for about seven minutes. So yeah. Basically let it fry in its own juices for about seven minutes. Then and that sounds gross. It, and then let the water evaporate. Well, yeah. Okay. Explain minutes. the sausage. I can't read that. Brown. Okay. Um. In my opinion, I think that the water is gonna disappear before. Bank with banger, baby. My guess. Um. So what do I have over here? I also have tin foil because what well, this is. You already said that. Put the sausage but okay. To a skillet. With a top, well, I don't have a skillet. You don't need top. to put in the skillet. Sorry. Calm down. You know, I moved in here a year ago. I'm not a oh, the top, chef. okay. I don't have a hundred fucking not pans a... for everything. I have a bunch of frying pans, so I'm just gonna. I'm not a culinary chef. I have a bunch of frying pans. I don't have a pan for everything. I have a bunch of frying pans. You know, you know, a pot? You know, like a like a like a pot with a pan? The fuck? You're thirty. Oh my. Put it in there with some foil on top, and we're gonna simulate a skillet with the top. <sighs> Fuck um, it. Yeah, so his his ghetto ass sausage setup. Fucking frying pan, so like tin right foil now. in the in the pan. I I've never seen such an odd level of like poverty. With his fancy ass toaster, but he can't have a pan like a club lid. Okay. Yep. Good content. I don't really prefer any type of orange juice. Orange juice color. discussion. Sometimes Thank I you. I like pulp. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like, you know, the one that's fortified with vitamins and minerals. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> um, I think today I have the calcium enriched Florida's natural with no pulp. Woohoo. Juice explanation. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you, Phil. So here we go. Take a sip. Delicious. So the first thing we're going to do. Before we cook anything, like I said before, you gotta turn on your fan. You mean you don't have Last to. Thing you wanna do is start cooking without turning your your stovetop fan on. You just don't burn um, out. Don't, have one, I recommend that don't burn your food. Aerate your kitchen. Just don't burn your food. You don't want your kitchen to go up in smoke per se. Just don't and burn your food. Your alarm go off, your fire alarm. That just watch your food. The very first time I cooked here, and I looked like an asshole. You could just watch your food. So what am I gonna do? Um, gonna You're not gonna move. Just don't burn out. Both of All right, sure. Pam time baby. Spray that Pam. Um, nah, no, spray that Pam though. By the way. Some people ask that spray that Pam. Electric. It's not gas. It's not gas. Uh, but they're pretty much the same. Turn them on medium heat. Every stove has a medium setting. Spray that Pam, baby. Spray that Pam. There it is. Yeah. Oil that shit up. With the Pam. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> so <laughs> You'd be spray painted that shit. In preparation for what we're doing. That was like if fucking culinary graffiti. Sausage, I believe the sausage says, place links in an unheated skillet. So I already fucked up. 
It's not hot yet, just put it in. It's the problem is, the first time I'm ever cooking this sausage. Even the fucking sides. N no no egg left behind. The pan wasn't hot yet. So eat it raw? Eat it raw then. Eat it raw. Do it. Be cool, eat it raw. Honestly, if you if you do it properly, you can. that's like rations for the day. I mean that, that, like that, that right there, that's daily rations. One one bite of one sausage every hour? That'll that'll do you pretty good. I don't know, man. It's already cooked. I, I, I might try that, honestly. <laughs> the pre cooked <laughs> the pre cooked sausage diet. You count the sausage? Three, and if you're a gamer, you probably have that kind of hand eye coordination that you're not gonna spill the water all over the place. If you're not, well, I can't help you. Weekend here, life. Spill that shit all over between the <laughs> between the sink and the stove. Um, all right, what is the next uh, instruction? Okay, now excuse says? me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I I'm pretty sure that anyone who any proper drug taker can hold a spoon. Because I'll tell you what, if you ever hold a spoon over a lighter, I haven't. I couldn't handle it. But I'm sure a proper tweaker could. They know. Also, if you're a gamer, you have that hand-eye coordination. I mean, next time try that thought process because we're gonna see this dude put tin foil uh, in his pan to medium, make sausages. So let the water evaporate and cook another two to four minutes. I don't see that. That's a bit so, special. But uh, this. okay, I guess. And here it is. Here's that uh okay, that genius well. track. Yep. yep. Just put not even like a plate or something. No, no, the tin foil. No, it's really not. not gonna it's also going to heat up again. Okay, sure. Now, shockingly, also, I don't... Sure. Fucking sure. My tongs? So we're done with the tin foil. Um, all right. So now, scrambled eggs. What do you do? This is already getting very hot. Scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. Two to three eggs. Explaining uh, scrambled eggs. So Thank you. You scramble them. You're gonna take these eggs. You scramble them. Put them into a ball. You crack them into the ball. You mean the ball? And Wait. You're gonna add a couple ingredients. And what you're basically gonna do is this. You're gonna take these eggs. Okay. You're gonna put them into a ball. You crack them into the ball. Why the fuck does he say bowl? <laughs> Why does he say bowl like that? Is he bugged? And you're gonna add a couple okay, hold on. So comments time. Comments time. Why do you say bowl like that? Why do you say bowl like that? Show you how to fry the eggs properly so that they come out nice and fluffy. So we're gonna crack ourselves some eggs. There's many ugh, shit all over this egg. It's disgusting. What the hell is that? I don't even know. But there's many methods to cracking eggs. Um, I just give it one smash, and then I just open the egg into whatever I'm doing. It's very simple. So we'll do all three like that. Yeah, to slam those eggs. Yeah, slam the eggs. Body those dudes. Creamed. The Destroyed. The key here with scrambled eggs, you don't want to get your eggshell pieces into your bowl. That's the last thing you want to do. If you get eggshell pieces into the bowl, it's not going to work. Why do you... Disgusting. Was he just bugged? Why do you say it like ball? There we go. So we have three eggs there. I'm so mind-fucked so right now. A little bit of milk. Wipe off my hand. A little bit of milk. A little bit of milk. A bit of that white stuff. You can just fucking... Oh my god, seasoning. Salt? Oh shit. Salt, salt, salt. All I can taste is salt. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> Look at this whiskey. 
too much, or else you're gonna end up basically with shit all over your counter. What is this? <laughs> this dainty mixing. What is this? I forgot this happened. He has one bowl? This dude was living like a fucking squatter. Other ingredients, and bro. It's salt there, and pepper and there, milk. You gonna whisk it now? Can you whisk it? What the fuck is this? What am I watching right now? What the fuck is he doing? Just whisk it. Just whisk it. Why is he doing this? That's a that's a manly wrist right there. This is look, look at this look at this look at this look at this alpha male. You limberist, go fuck yourself. Look at this dude. This man built like a, a god. Look look at the curvature. Look at those look at those pecs, obviously. Look, look, look at those pecs. Look at those look at that look at that wrist. That's a strong, thick wrist. Manly wrist. Form yellow throughout the the liquid that we have in our bowl here. <laughs> throughout so the liquid. Show the jawline, Phil. Show the double chin. You do need is a spatula. And as you saw, that was already on my stove. I apologize that I did not mention that. Uh, I hope you watched the whole video. <laughs> These tutorial videos. How stupid does he think we are? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pour Hold on. Damn, the boys are fucked already. Hold on. Show the jawline, Phil. Damn it, Phil. Piece of shit. Either way, alpha male. Alpha male. Let's so go. Make sure that none of the egg overcooks. It's I already cooking. That, I mean, it's already cooking right now. It's, gonna cook it's cooking fast, right now. Fast, yeah, I can tell. I can see it. No one's gonna say that. It's actually pretty thin. So you take your spatula, yeah, it's a, it's you liquid. I. How stupid did you think his viewers were back then? I think even Derek knows this. Sorry, Darish, excuse me. Okay. <sighs> now, once you probably get your, your, your pan halfway solid, is when you're going to want to start adding other ingredients. You know, the way he's. In this case, all I have is cheese. Cheese? Um, of I course you do. I've added other things like tomatoes, I've added peppers. Tomatoes? I don't have any of that today. So you never added tomatoes. Add some cheese. Just a shredded cheddar. Shredded cheddar pre bed oh, God damn. Try to get it added in there. A little bit more here. This dude was looking like a fucking it's bum. Done. I yeah, I pan's getting bodied. It's kind of rough. Just oh, scraping at it. Just beating it. Assaulting right, it. Abusing it. The eggs are changing consistency. Just like them super fluffy, which they are right now, and you say, okay, oh, I can hear it. They're a little bit runny, but they're done. It's so violent. A little bit more than this. I'm almost done. Um, Calm down, Phil. It's not going to run away. Jesus. A little bit more. And I'm going to call it a day. And start working on that sausage, which is almost done. Start. All right, now hold the hold the fucking phone. I don't I don't I don't care. Please, please. Okay, in what order should I? Okay. The camera's been on the whole time, huh? I don't even know. Hello. Start working on that sausage. My favorite so DSP quote. Alright, so that's it. <sighs> no spicy today. sausage Go for me. Toss that on the plate over here. From pan to plate, it was fresh as fuck. Still scraping. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that's ASMR right there. I think it's actually only my right ear cuff. That's pretty good. I'm getting tingles right now. It's fucking right side fell. They were in the way. It's it's it's, it's scrambled eggs. It's just uh, it was rough. I can't. Okay, okay, hold the fuck. Okay. I cannot tell if this cheese is sealed. Bitch, just seal the bag. What? What crack is he on? It is. Okay. Cheese, cheese confirmed sealed. They got a hit confirm on sealed. Explaining how heat works, thank you. There it is, there it is, hold on. Chad Jawline. The Sigma male jawline personified. He has two jawlines, that's how, that's how fucking Chad he is. There's the first jawline, it starts here, and it goes to here. The second jawline, right here, goes to here. Some of y'all only got one jawline, Phil. The real Chad has two for each, uh, shit, no, it doesn't work out, for each bone, for each testicle full of fucking semen that could out impregnate the bulls. Huh. I don't know if you can see it from how far it is, but it is pretty thoroughly burnt. Now zoom in on that on that sausage. Size. Look at that. It's like a close up. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, get that sausage. Yeah. Yeah, get that, yeah, that sausage. This is dirty. This is filthy. Woo. I think they're done, Phil. I think it's done. I think it's done right now. You want you want to take it out? So you can just take it out. This dude was so fucking drunk. Holy shit. All of these videos are just hangover cooking videos. Which might be entertaining, I guess. If you admitted that, I think. Cause I don't know, to me something about... I woke up at, woke up at 3 o'clock with a craving for food. Sounds like a drunk person to me, TBH. Yo, shout to Dawn. The sink and, and get some water. There it is. There it is. I want to get a, a non blurry frame of a non blurry shot. There it is. That's the fucking drink. That's the gin right there. That, there it is. Fucking on the rocks with a little stir straw. <laughs> that's classy. And a little spoon right there. That's, that's, I don't know what that's for. Uh, that 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 right there. That's that's classy. Uh, Water and get some soap into them. What was in the glass, Phil? What was in the glass? What was what was in? No, no, don't hide it. What was? No, don't hide it. What was in the glass? Show us what was in that. What's what's going on there? No, no, don't cover it up. No, right behind there. What? No, behind your hand. What was in that glass right there? Explain that to the kids. What was in that glass, Phil? I was like, it's his, fry, his fried soap recipe. Why are you frying the soap? Why does he do that? That's so weird. Most people don't wash their pans after cooking. No, Phil, that's wrong. That's not how that works. To clean them later on. So, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't cook all drunk. I, I try not to. I try to eat my food before I drink and uh, have some like crackers around later, just to recuperate. That's right. You need a fork to eat, don't you? That's a okay. Perfect. They're still steaming hot. 
steaming hot. Let's go. Fresh as nice fuck. Fluffy. Nice and fluffy. A little bit gooey, which I like. It's probably the Pam. Uh, a lot of Pam on that bitch. With cheddar cheese, with a little bit of cheddar cheese, uh, salt, pepper salt, pepper, and, and Pam, links. and some Pam. Whole lot of Pam. Whole lot of Pam on that bitch. <laughs> Did you even notice that? <laughs> I didn't even notice this fucking tab still being on. It's just running. <laughs> That's pretty good, Phil. I feel that one. Salt, 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 salt. All I can taste is salt. Not time consuming, and uh, that's it for episode two. Not time consuming, bro. It's like four a.m. What are you? What are you missing? Hello, everyone, it's DSP, and the and, uh, Pam is back. Welcome to front, episode three. front and fucking center. The Pam is back. Also, he got a skillet. I don't think he got a lid for any of these videos. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it's all kind of just frying shit, but that's okay, I guess. Oh, shit. Risotto. Bill makes that, I think. Bill, that fucking piece of shit. I hate that dude. Fuck that dude. What? I didn't say that. Three of the Pam that front and fucking center. Long to be a joke, that boy is sitting there. It a joke. That boy is squeaking. Uh, with the king. Uh, it is what statue is that? Is I Hold on. I, wanna, I can... I think that is the Dark Siders, uh, not d War. Dark Siders one statue, I think, most like him. And that is a Duke Nukem Bobblehead. No, it's not blonde. I don't know what that is actually. Oh, that's that's a that's a that's a Dwayne Johnson statue. Yeah, 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 there it is. That's 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 Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, all right. Actually, I had a very quick lunch today. That JD barbecue sauce. Ones. I am really hungry. Really hungry. My primary meal for the day. So I'm gonna whip together some. My burgers, primary um, meal for the day. And there's like a robot. hundred different ways to make burgers. Here, hold on a second. I'm actually gonna go to my fridge while I position while I uh, just tripod gang. Recording for a second. Yo, all those there's knives too. All those fucking. Ways you can make burgers. So this dude is out here saying I don't have a bunch of pans with lids for him. Bro, you got a fucking chef stack of knives. What was he? What was he buying in like the kitchen store? What was his outing? It's so confusing. He didn't own like a. I can't imagine he owned like a pot. But he has this massive stack. What is he even using all these for? Fuck it. I don't. I mean, fuck it. I've seen people who go the traditional route, where you know it's just ketchup and cheese. Uh, I am gonna make cheeseburgers, by the way. Ketchup and cheese. Um, I've seen people who go crazy ways and just what you put jalapenos and jalapenos on their burger. I don't go that extensive, but I do like to mix it up a little bit. Um, so what are we gonna do to start out with our burgers? Now, if I had a hundred, you know, hours to make the food, I would have nice fresh ground beef. But let's face it. After I cook bacon, I don't even know enough to wash my fucking hands. Is so if you? I was gonna make ground yeah, meat, he doesn't wash his hands. That's true. Myself. Um, so what I do usually when huh. I do make burgers at home, I buy some kind of a. Pack I should from hockey the store that or something. Don't get the generic brand. Let's do it now. This is actually a local. Don't get generic local burgers. Store Big Y. This stuff's really good. Yeah, um, local. Actually, this this kind of burger and also bubble this burgers. This kind of burger. Bubble burgers. Before. Bubble burgers. Bubble burgers are really the good. bubble burgers. The bubble burgers is they're a little bit bubble harder burgers. to cook than these. Um, it's hard to judge. When they're gonna be ready. Shout out to China? Usually, they're, they're very easy oh. to cook. In fact, this has an eight Stuff. minute time limit where it's you game? get two minutes on each side. Hold on, we're playing games right now. Oh hell yeah, we're play watching animation. Not so overdone. Hold on. Just hold, hold on. So shut up. We're watching this right now.
or hate on date. Wait, it's the game? Holy shit, this is the gameplay stream right now. Fuck it, I don't even care anymore. Hell yeah. <laughs> we can do a power shot? Holy shit. Hold on, I'm playing this right now, fuck you. Fuck. Shit. Got him. Let's go. Owned. Real gamer time. True gamer. Gamer skills. Gamer fucking skills. Let's go. Owned. Fucking owned. Alright, okay, we're done here. But, uh... Yeah, what was, what was I looking for again? Big Y. Oh, never mind. Family owned. Located in Massachusetts and Connecticut. So it's actually, it's, it's actually pretty local. Alright, fair enough, Phil. 71 located. I mean, I wouldn't... It is local. I just wouldn't really call it, like, uh, as local as it sounds. Also, it's like Connecticut beef, so I'm not sure how that goes, but okay. Um, I actually got the ones that have Vidalia onion pieces inside. Medallion onion pieces, let's go. Very delicious. fancy. Um, but you can get different ones. Like, sometimes you can get ones with cheese already in the burger, which I think is gross. But you can get ones with bacon bits and things like that. I don't go too crazy, but anyway... Here we go. Two third pound burgers. They're not even going to be close to being a third pound once they're cooked because they lose so much uh, from the fat. So anyway, they're frozen burgers. The first thing we're going to do, uh, as we've talked about before, let me but I cannot unmute. Fuck. Pointing. We're going to use Pam on a frying pan. Hot keys once more. Frying pan is a little bit special. A special uh, frying pan. pan. All right. It's flat and uh, it's square and it has these ridges. So you're going to get those skillet marks on your uh, so it's, it's a skillet. I actually do have a panini grill over a there. A panini and I grill? You can cook burgers really well on it. I haven't tried it yet. I might try it. You can it try it right now. I'm hungry now. I don't want to. He did not food. try it. I'm making a video. I have to make sure that the food comes out well, so. I'm making a video. I have to make sure that it comes out well. Bro, you can cook like a fucking burger on a hot rock. It's gonna cook. It's, it's heat and meat. It's kind of simple, but okay. All right, Phil. That strong back, like Yujiro. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray down my cool pan. With a pan. <laughs> Yo, god do. damn, he goes crazy on that shit, bro. Oil, I'm never ready for it. It's so intense every single time. I'm gonna turn it on to uh, my, my uh, burner on medium here. Now, the problem that you're gonna find when you get frozen burgers often is they freeze together. And it's a pain that is the true. Because especially if you didn't cook them right away, they're like a rock. Oh, use, use so that strength, though. Do, and unfortunately, I don't that bodybuilder strength. I have so many ingredients laid out. But and the fancy cheese, too. All right. And usually a metal spatula does the trick. Shit, I really have nowhere to do this. You can just put it on the, on, on the bread, bread box. Here. Maybe try to Why the fuck does he have a bread box? I'm so confused by his setup, his kitchen setup. No, like lid for a pot, for a pan or a pot, but a fucking bread box. Who the fuck owns a bread box in current year? Or even like past year? The fuck? That was his mom's probably. His mom got on that one, huh? As you can see, he's been frozen for mm. quite a while. Raw meat, the the Raw meat on the plate. Raw meat on the plate. Raw meat. I mean, it's not raw. Just frozen, but sure. Shit. I'm gonna call it raw, cause look at that shit. There we go. I got them separated. I don't, I don't so, even care. That's cold meat on your plate. But sure. Maybe it's just go frozen. Put them on plastic, so that way you don't say, Oh my god, he's putting raw meat on the plate right next to the buns. <laughs> Separated frozen burgers. have to do here is we're going to wait. Nope. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put them on plastic so that way you don't say, oh my god, he's putting raw, raw meat, meat on, on the bun. Right the the buns. Buns. God fucking damn it, Phil. What the fuck, man? <laughs> so what we're going to wait. have to do here is we're going to wait for this to heat up a little bit. But what ingredients am I going to use? Well, I'm actually going to make two different burgers. 
I'm gonna do a more American traditional style, and I'm gonna do a like a barbecue American traditional. So, <laughs> Texas not part of America. You've got pre-shredded lettuce, which actually was on sale. It's the only reason I have it, or else I just buy a head of lettuce. Sure you do. Usually I would use fresh bacon, but they had a sale. Sure you would. Pre-cooked bacon, which is yeah, sure. cool if you're making like quick dishes or salads or something like this. I wonder this why they had a sale. Just for the sake Maybe because it, it sucks. It's about to expire, and I don't want to have this shit lying around, and I don't want to waste it either. So it's about this. to I expire. Was on. I um, wonder why it was on sale. Of mild cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese is always better than regular cheese. That's for sure. Um, two buns, and you can. No, cheddar cheese is always better than regular cheese. It's probably the most. I think American thing you can say because, like, we have like cheese up here, like singles. But I've never heard someone say like, uh, reg. I've never heard someone like call that like regular cheese. It's just kind of cheese, bro. Calm down. You could use any kind Show of us some fucking glue cheese. He'll go crazy. He'll lose his mind. Like that. I usually like a bun with a lot of sesame seeds on it. So it's just pretty standard white bread buns. You got your mayo, you got your ketchup, you got some Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, which is my favorite barbecue sauce. I think it's absolutely delicious. You got some classic bread and butter chips. You gotta get bread and butter chips for for burgers. A lot of people like the yeah, dill on burgers. The regular like cheese, as opposed to like I like I guess like um, fake cheese. And that's pretty much I, it. I suppose. Ingredients. And from that, we're gonna I, I, it's a confusing sentence. Style burgers or a confusing I'm phrase. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm choking on nothing. One that's way more traditional. And traditional. going to be, like I said, more of like a Texas bar. Texas. So Is Texas... I'm pretty sure Texas was, like, around for a long time. We're gonna start cooking it's pretty fucking American, TBH. The pan is the pan is it's like warm, the so land of grilling, of barbecue. Like I said, these are eight-minute burgers. And you can, you you can barbecue burgers. Not, I don't know if you want to film. You can barbecue so what burgers. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put those burgers in the pan. Burgers. I'm going to separate them at an angle here. So basically, they're like one in each corner of the pan. Put it back down on the fire here, even though it's not real fire, it's electricity. And I'm going to set my timer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to set my timer. 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 Because in two minutes, I'm going to want to flip these guys. I'm also going to turn on my fan. Like I've I need a better chair. God damn. This shit sucks. I have the fan on because any but I do sit like this, so it's kind of weird. You don't want it to go ape shit. Ape so shit. Does he say ape shit anymore? I don't think he does. Um, Very uh, fill term, I guess. And since this is microwave bacon, like I said, pre cooked bacon. It's not fresh bacon. I'm it's not fresh bacon, bacon, unfortunately. Bacon. He had to buy it, though. He had to. He couldn't just not buy it. He had to buy it. It was on sale. Come on. Alpha male DSP over here. I thought it was expired. Or so it's about to expire. You want to put in the okay? Back in the fridge. Now, the that's for that's for that's for burgers yeah, three and four. Sure at four o'clock in the morning. This is pre cooked bacon, like I said, so please don't give me any. You see, this is the uh, this is the what time is it now? Hold on. It's uh like seven or so right now. Seven forty five. So this is the pre drinking burger. This is the pre gin burger. Burgers. And then he's saving the bacon for burgers three and four when he gets up at like three o'clock because he passed out at twelve, obviously. And those are that's for the later burgers. So that's for the, the early morning burgers. And then he drinks some more. And then he has like one more, one, like one more burger left, and that's the morning burger. I figured it out. That's that's the mystery right there. That's the real, the burger strategy. Forty seconds, and we'll see how that goes. So, we've got the burgers cooking. We've got that microwave going. I'm gonna wash off my hands. What the fuck? A pig washing his hands? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. And that kettle, always there, always watching. Looks like two minutes is already almost up on the burgers. Uh, what we're gonna do, to actually specific to the instructions of these particular hamburgers is you do want to press them some burgers they tell you don't press them you'll lose the juice but for these burgers you'll lose the, the what the, the juice okay patterns in them where if you push them down 
Yeah, Isaac Heimler burgers. Yeah, I I see. Those Heimler burgers. They look pretty hard. Zoom in a little bit here. Those uh, so necromorph do, burgers. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and push the burger down. Yeah, he's assaulting that burger. Holy he's shit! He's assaulting that dude. Lean all the way over. All his power in that. That burger has gone. The fatty juices. Yep. No reason to season. Like that, that's his uh, his next time mixtape. No reason to season. Our bacon actually came out well. Our bacon is crispy. Yeah, it's exactly pre-cooked. You, you don't want a rubber, you want a crispy bacon. Yeah, it's pre-cooked. Pre -cooked bacon because that's just warmed up again. Most of the fat's been out. Oops, sorry, I was not even close to the camera there. Uh, nice that bacon's dry bacon. as fuck, holy shit. So that'll go on one of our burgers, so let's get that out. Some dry ass bacon right there, man. Jesus. Now, what you're going to want to do while your burgers are cooking, you're going to want to get all of your side ingredients ready. You don't Why weren't they already out? out? Ready, oh, they're already out. Okay, never mind. He's good. Ready. He's out. We'll zoom out here, and we're gonna get you shit train. lined up and ready to go. First thing you're gonna want to do, get your bread ready. And depending on what kind of burger you're making, I'm actually gonna turn on my panini grill. Hey, the panini grill. Let's go. And I'm gonna attempt to toast these buns. Um, which basically you only need to run it through a panini grill if you have one for about a minute, and the buns if you have one. toasted. What I'm looking to do here. This is kitchen is so weird. Burgers. One's gonna be more American style. One will be like a Texas style. So. This one, I'm going to put the traditional ingredients like mayo, ketchup, um, maybe some lettuce. <laughs> do they not have mayo and ketchup in Texas? The other one, I'm going to do actually some barbecue sauce with the bacon. And then mayo and ketchup? And, uh, mayo and ketchup? So two completely different flavors. Oh, no, mayo and ketchup. All right. Okay. From two similar burgers. Uh, so let's see here. Let's I mean, it's just a burger. Like it's not that burgers. serious, bro. I just really need to wait for my panini grill to warm up, and then I'm going to go ahead and toss those buns over onto the grill. See, it's right over here. That's it, right? No, he has a lettuce. It's all right. It's, it's fine. He, right, you can do it. Right it's a gamer yeah. lettuce. Pre-shredded. If you lift the panini grill when it's warming up, that actually will cause it to cool down. It's actually the, the two plates connected that contain the heat. And that contain the heat. That, uh, pace. And actually, I'm gonna I don't it think that's how heat works. It just kind of makes heat. It heats up, and you kind of like... So yeah. my burgers, uh, once again, it looks like they're going to be ready to flip. This dude was on seconds. something. Let's zoom in here. Damn, these burgers are fucking... They're <laughs> really <laughs> filling it. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. You can actually see, depending on where you put them on the griddles, they actually start to take form. Holy um, shit. Fucking sorry, uh, leak the burgers alone, oval man. He's groping them. He's hurting them. God damn. Okay. So while that's cooking, <laughs> we're gonna check. It looks like the panini grill's probably almost ready. I'm gonna check the temperature now with my hand. There's so many like moving parts here too, for some reason. Like, okay, so, so the the pan is on. There was like bacon in the microwave. There's panini grill on. The 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 ingredients and the and the buns are like he has to turn around and walk towards the, the the buns to get them on there, and he can't like put like I'm not again I'm not I'm not an expert chef, but normally I just kind of put the fucking the the stuff that I'm gonna put the stuff on next to the stuff. And not like two uh, shit. I can't say that word. That's a leaf word. Like actually, like what four feet? Like five feet behind me. Like this is fucking going to a next down behind me. I don't no feet. I don't feet from football. There's like a down for, uh, to get to the, like, like, like what the fuck? Put the ingredients left. next to the stove. Maybe even on the yeah, stove. I don't know. There's no time for the panini grill. But it was already hot. God damn it. We're gonna pop these guys in the piece of shit toaster. The right piece here. of shit toaster. That never fucking works properly. Why didn't you get a new toaster? 
What kind of motherfucker has a panini grill next to a toaster? And the thing that works that works good for heating bread is the panini and not the toaster. It is always better to have a slightly toasted bun. How is toaster the thing that's broken here? Give me the toaster, bro. But not just a plain bun. That's no fun having a fancy boy toaster. So once that's toasted, we'll start to put the ingredients together to formulate our meal here. Take a sip. Might want to grab a fork. Might want to grab a fork. That's true. You might want that. Such a barren burger. Forty-one seconds left on our burgers before we flip them for the last time. You gonna know, you gonna hurt them again? You gonna assault the burgers again? Do, do, just do, do, do. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. That bun must almost be ready. We're just we're standing here watching a toaster. Thank you. Now, for some reason, it wants, it wants to toast extra long. Okay, it never toasts things this long. This toaster is a piece of garbage. It wants to make me look dumb. extra long okay it never toasts things this long this toaster is a piece of garbage it wants to make me look dumb okay so so joke joke time you don't need the toaster to make you look dumb phil trust me serious time uh is he blaming the toaster on why it's like I mean, when you watch something, it goes by slower. When when you wait for a thing, it takes longer to get the thing. That's kind of how things work. Like if you watch paint dry, it's you're not gonna notice it's dry until like an hour or so later, maybe even more, because you're watching it. But uh, sure. I'm already so fucking, I've, I've given up so hard, and it's like only three videos in, and there's like fucking four more, and then there's like three more as well, so, in it for a minute. Yo, show us the burgers now. Show us the burgers. You fucking scammer. I, I didn't realize it wasn't actually, yeah. Two minutes on each right. side, why not just do First, four on each? We're gonna actually put why, why do two, 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 two? On one of our burgers before he Damn. Off the grill. Just a little bit, not too much. <laughs> Steven Vaughn, isn't that Destiny's name, I think? Flavor. That was fucking disgusting, how dare you? Fuck you. <laughs> Put that cheese on the uh, the hot skillet. That's still on. It's it's you an actively the hot so skillet. Do it. What the hell? You know what? That's a pretty good function, right? That's that's pretty advanced. Wait, that's for one bur. Oh god. Yeah, it's almost like this whole setup of having it on different counters is, is kind of well. unintuitive. Like I said, one you can move the buns and the stuff like to the other counter. An air pocket. That's why you shake oh, it. That's why it says shake well, buddy. Come on. Two plates? Different plate? Another plate? Nope. One plate. 
gamer strat right there. One plate needed. I'm gonna go ahead clean that off later. Now on the bottom bun, I'm gonna put some mayo, just a little bit, not too much. There is nothing to say to this. This is so fucking trash. I'm gonna recline. Fuck this. I'm 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 going sausage mode, sausage mode right now. Fuck, I'm not. The seams of the the cheese seams. All right, buddy. Got one American burger and one heart attack burger, basically. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of true, okay. actually. That's accurate. Good. And that fat is going to continue to sizzle in the pan, but I want to make the burgers first, and then I'll. Where's the fat go? So on our Where's the fat go, Phil? Where's the fat go down the drain? Which drain? The toilet? The toilet? Oh my god! Ketchup wants to launch all over the counter. Why doesn't you shake it? Okay, so he he does he does the burgers in this really odd two 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 like way, but he can't read the ketchup that says that says shake well before using. All right, sure, buddy. He ran out of uh, tomato, guys. It's over. I Panini realize. sandwich. Oh, man. I should have fucking saved the tomato for the burger tonight. I'm out of here. Well, I forgot, and I went ahead and ate tomato, so I put tomato. It was greed. Was greed sure is lettuce. massively strong. Fresh lettuce, that's what I would be putting on here, but... Fresh lettuce. No, fuck that. Fresh Gamer fresh lettuce, lettuce. pre-shredded. So there's our more typical American burger with... The tomato, American burger. Ketchup, pickles, lettuce... Texas style burger is pretty much done. We're I fucking hate this American burger versus like Texas style burger. Fuck does that mean? Trying to get rid of it. Um, is Texas style America? On the it's right there. Bottom. And that's it. I mean, I'm gonna enjoy these two completely. I'm going to eat this. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. Mess that I've now made because of the squirting of everything. I I give um, it a tree out of tree. In you know, 20 minutes, pretty much, it could have been a lot shorter than 20 minutes if I wasn't showing you the ingredients, but we made two completely different burgers, um, one American style, one barbecue style, and it is a pretty fatty, you know, fatty. cholesterol meal, but for someone like me, like I said, who hasn't eaten really much all day, and I'm starving, this is a good way starving. to make sure that I'm not up at midnight, you know, with an aching stomach, so, that's it for Is she going to bed, like, fucking hungry? Uh, I'm gonna Not that poor, bro. Come on. Scarf some burgers down. You eat a snack, my dude. There are many paths to an ad? Fuck you, Google. Fuck no, go. No, you want the most direct one. So we created the Google app. What's up, everyone? It's DSP. Hey, the Pam. Edition of uh, cooking with the king, or poorly cooking with the king, as I've termed it, because I still think this series is a joke, but people seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to keep going on with it. Um, is it a joke, Phil? Today is going to be another breakfast. Is it a uh, joke? A lot of people will say, oh, joke on who? Breakfast. Well, breakfast are some of the I'm not eating the burger. You are. You can cook, and I'd rather get these out of it's the not a joke on me, dude. It's a joke on you. Recipes. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a family favorite of mine, and to be completely honest, I used to eat this all the time as a kid, but I don't remember what we used to call it. And I think my mother actually termed it egg with the hole in the middle. And if you, egg with you, know, the you hear that, you're like, what the <laughs> hell does that mean? Um, Was this mom high? What you're going to see is it's a pretty easy thing to cook. Um, you can do some variations on it, depending on what you like exactly in your breakfast. And uh, you can go you from there. So anyway, this. here's what you need for ingredients. You need two pieces of white bread. You need butter or Pam, as you know, I used, like to use Pam to spray my Pam uh, my gang. Pans. Two pieces of cheese, oh, two to pieces your liking, of cheese. whatever kind of cheese you like, and two eggs. Two I eggs. prefer jumbo white, but you can jumbo go ahead white. and get, you know, whatever kind you like. What you're going to do is basically this is going to be an interesting kind of a, a open face sandwich slash, well, you'll see what I mean. So the first thing you're going to okay, do so I, I is do take like these this, two uh, pieces of white bread. And I like his uh, his his family history segment. 
Also, oh, Italian hands. Hold on. Sandwich slash. Hold on. Well, you'll see what I mean. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take these two pieces of white bread, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna tear a hole. Italian hands. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That's the real Italian right there. Then I get a screenshot of that. All righty. But I do like his little family story. It's just fucking... It's a toad in the hole slash eggs in a basket. It's not that fancy, Phil. It's okay. You don't gotta show off for us, man. I get it. With your hand actually in the center of each piece of bread. Okay? And of course... Don't yeah. Go ahead and eat it. Um, Mouthful of food we're talking. And then... The goal here you want to pull your pants off. The size of an egg yolk. If an egg yolk were to go in there, would it be around that size? That's about what you're looking to aim for, for size-wise, for your, your hole in your bread. You take your pants off and just kind of go crazy on it. Okay. So now that that's done, you got your two pieces of white bread with your holes in them. You're going to want to go ahead and... Spray your Pam. You spray your Pam. Spray your Pam. Spray your Pam with the Pam. And preheat your Pam to about medium heat on most I don't want to. I don't want to spray the Pam. Don't make me. There it goes again. God damn. Let me get that out of the way. Now we're going to wait for this to heat up a little bit. But just to let you know, right, I'm back in. ingredients in this dish, the very basic ingredients are the white bread, uh, or any kind of bread. It does not have to be white bread, by the way. If you like wheat bread, whole wheat, multigrain, wheat you can bread. use whatever you like. Um, the eggs and the cheese. That's pretty much the egg and the cheese. But you can add other things to this dish. You can Damn, add an awesome man, play big ups. You could add some pieces of green pepper if you like. You can add bacon, and actually, that's what I've done. I've gone ahead and I cooked some bacon ahead of time that... I'm going to add to this dish of course to make he is. it more complete. More complete, all right. So that pan should be heating up. And let me go confirm if it is warm. Confirm the pan. Oh, actually, it's warm already. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our two pieces of bread. And we're going to slap them down onto <laughs> our frying pan. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to take two eggs. We're going to crack the eggs open. And we're actually going to put the eggs into... Oh my god, what? The open bread. Yo, we're gonna put the we're eggs into the open bread? Out here. This is like a fucking, uh... It looks like the zoom on my camera is screwing up because I got a little bit closer. There we go, that looks a lot better. I don't know what it's like, so what I'm gonna do is but it's like something. Go ahead and give them a whack. And crack them, try to crack them inside of the holes. The key here is to keep the egg in one piece, as you see right there. If you can't avoid it, do not break the yolk. If you break the yolk, the dish could be ruined. The dish is going to be ruined. It's fucking eggs and toast, bro. Boy? Bro? Whoops. Bro, and boy? You might drop your egg shell, but that's okay. It's fucking okay. frame perfect. Now you're gonna let Put that, take a picture of that. Put that on the wall. The ideal thing here is that you're going to start to see underneath the yolk, it's going to start to turn white. And that means that the, the egg whites underneath the yolk the are egg starting whites? to cook. Okay. And it could take a minute or two, um, but what, ideally what we're going to do here... Very exciting ship, brother. It looks like the underside of this that has gone through the bread is white and cooked. And then we're going to flip it over, okay? So now the yolk's basically going to be on the bottom side. And you want to be careful when you do that because if you flip it too fast or if you flip it too hard, you might accidentally break your egg yolk. And that's going to just make a runny mess. You're going to have egg yolk yellow all over the bottom of your, your piece of food here. Okay, so that's cooking. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip them, okay? And then as soon as you flip them, if you have any additional ingredients that you'd like to add to this dish, whether it be bacon, whether it be a slice of tomato, uh, or anything else, we're going to flip this, and then we're going to put that ingredient on top of each piece of bread. And uh, then what we're going to do is, since it's going to be warming up on that side, we're going to add the cheese, which is going to melt nicely on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm taking and the shirt off. It's going to be too hot. see here, it is turning white under the egg yolk, which means that basically it's almost ready to flip. So I'm going to go ahead. It's not going to... No, don't. It's too early. Phil, please. 
And you can cook this the fuck was that? Running. Again, I'm a kind of person I like a so super magical runny spell? egg yolk. I don't like it super runny where it makes a, a hideous mess. Hideous but mess. At least like a, 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 a liquid center. Other people don't like that. They like it more healthy. So you can cook overcook this a little bit if you want. And the egg yolk will be a solid yellow. It's completely up to you. It's like a, 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 a liquid center. Other people don't like that. They like it more healthy. So you can cook overcook this a little bit if you want. And the egg yolk will be a solid yellow. It's completely up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead Other and do people this. don't like a runny yolk. They like it more healthy. That's not how eggs work, buddy, but okay. And we're gonna flip it. Oops. Go ahead, don't be afraid to touch your own food. Oops. Flip it. We're gonna do the same with the other one. Get it completely underneath. And flip it like that. Alright, I was wrong. I got debunked. Now. God like flips. Egg whites will begin to run a little bit because. Obviously, if it's a jumbo egg, the egg whites are going to go over the edges. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to add my additional ingredients, which is going to be a piece of bacon per thing here. I, I'm so out of my mind right now. Okay. Now I'm going to add the cheese. All right. Fuck you, Phil. Go fuck yourself. You're being sped up, idiot. Get Almost, sped. I guess you can call it an open face bacon, egg, and cheese, even though really technically it's not a sandwich. Because you did make the hole in the in the middle of it, it is a little bit different. Um, so that's going to go ahead and cook and melt. And like I said, depending on how you like your eggs, you might cook it a little bit longer, you might cook it a little bit shorter. But ideally, you want the cheese to start to melt on top, and that's how you just that, nothing. You know that it is just uh, fucking dumb. nothing. You don't want a, a raw piece of cheese on top of your your food here. It'll be a little bit longer. At this point, I might even slightly intensify the heat. Just to try to get the cheese to melt a little bit better. On this one, it's actually melting nicely. On this one, it looks like the bacon, unfortunately, was curved up a little bit, so the cheese is having a little bit of a hard time melting. But the heat rises, it's buddy. It's fine. To a tomato on each one, it's great, because it's just like having, like, a, a delicious... Sandwich? Bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Yep. With a piece of tomato on it, which is always a good a good addition to something like that. Same as a sandwich? Now, you don't have to put any additional ingredients either. Traditionally, I always used to eat this with nothing else. It was just a piece of cheese on top. So it would melt really quickly. It would be done fairly quickly. As you see, this cheese is now melting. This cheese is now starting to melt, so we're almost ready here. And see how simple this is? It was one flip. There's no complex cooking or anything like that. The only thing is complex that cooking. Prepare. If you want to add some more ingredients, you have to prepare. There was the never any the complex the cooking, my guy. Ready ahead of time. Phil, please just end the shit, bro. All right, so my cheese is melting. It's just about ready to go. Oh my right, god, plate. we are watching cheese melt. Ready here? We are sitting here. Yeah, like was that a snort? Right, so my cheese is. Melting. All No. Please. Melting. It's just about ready to go. I'm gonna get my plate. No, back up. All right, so I share them ahead of time, like the bacon or the the uh, the tomato. You have to have that ready ahead of time. Fucking hell. A more cooked yolk. You don't have to take it off as early as me. But here we go. I fucking can. This is so nothing. It's nothing content. We done? Okay. You finished? We done? What you have, even though I don't know what the real name of it is, because like I said, my family never really knew, I don't remember the name, is two pieces of what we like to call. What you have, even though I don't know what the real name of it is, because like. Even though I don't know what the real name of it is. Like I said, my family never really knew. My family never really knew. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name. So you don't know. Name is two pieces of what we like to call egg with the hole in the middle. Um, and you can <laughs> I wonder why Phil got gal. You can eat it like a piece of toast. You know, just grab it like this, pick it up and eat it. Or you can have a fork and a knife and cut it into pieces and eat it. And that's usually how I eat it. I do a fork and a knife. Now, other that's thing fucking is, bread. bread. Go fuck yourself. Depending on how long you cooked it. it when I jack, that's very, a dick joke. How dare you? Toasted. Some people like He's eating it. This is a dick joke. Toasted, and if that's the case, after you make the hole in your bread, you should probably toast your bread first. You fuck the bread, yeah. And a toaster, and then toss it onto the grill. So there's several different uh, variations that you can use to make this. Some other people that I know, they actually I fucking can't. Out, this is so exhausting. Instead of just using regular bread, they actually make a piece of French toast first. Then they make this, so it's like a French toast egg in the hole in the middle. So it's like doubling up on the meal. It's a French toast plus something else. So... There are definitely different variations on this dish, but this is the very basic way to do it. And as you saw, within, within 10 minutes, we had it done. So pretty quick way to get a nice, tasty breakfast. Um, 
and healthy, depending on, you know, if you want additional ingredients like bacon or not, or tomato, you can do very healthy variations on it. So also keep in mind you can season. I didn't season it at all, but when this is cooking, you could put salt, pepper, and things like that on it. I actually prefer this dish plain, which is why I didn't season, but you can add seasoning to your liking as well. So that's DSP. That's it for this episode of... Thank Human God. Day. What's going on, everyone? It's DSP, and welcome to another episode of Poorly Cooking with the King. Although in this episode, we're actually going to go a little bit more healthy than some of my previous Ooh, healthy. Uh, recipes, simply because a lot of people have been complaining, and uh, I guess it's time to show that I don't only eat you know things that might be high in fat or high in cholesterol. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to whip up a nice tuna salad sandwich, but we're actually going to do it a little bit differently, because unlike regular tuna salad sandwiches, it's not just going to be a sandwich, we're going to make it a panini but I will show you what I mean in just a little bit um, the first thing we need to do is talk about ingredients <clears throat> for any sandwich obviously for tuna salad the first thing you need is tuna now depending on how much you're gonna make um, usually the standard can of tuna comes in five or six ounce varieties uh, I grabbed two and I'm gonna make enough tuna salad for two cans however you can go ahead and um, you know, if you're only going to make one sandwich, obviously one can is going to be more than enough. Um, in this case, each can is 5 ounces, so we're talking roughly 10 ounces of tuna. Now, you're probably going to want the tuna that's in water. I've seen the tuna that's in oil, but that's not very good. Um, it's usually used for other different kinds of recipes, but I wouldn't recommend it for tuna salad. Uh, the other primary ingredient in tuna salad is usually mayonnaise. But in this case, I actually do prefer this mayonnaise... Uh, substitute which is called miracle whip um there are other ones like it but usually this what this does is it's a vegetable um <clears throat> dressing that it has a tangy zip to it it's a tangier than regular mayonnaise but the key to this is that it has less than half the fat and cholesterol than regular mayonnaise so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to use that to make our tuna salad today i do actually like miracle whip i used to eat it all the time when i was a kid uh, some other things that you'll need, obviously, any fixings that you want to put. So, for example, lettuce. I actually have pre-shredded lettuce here. Well, I'm going to have a piece of cheese on there for a panini. I actually have, these are pretty neat. These are sliced pickles that are uh, lengthwise so that you can put them on a sandwich, which is pretty cool. I personally love bread and butter pickles. I think it's delicious with tuna salad. Um, for tuna salad, there's other ingredients that typically you would include. For example, uh, some chopped celery, some chopped parsley. Um, some chopped onions. In fact, I actually, there's one ingredient that I forgot that I'm going to get out of my cupboard right now. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in this guy to give it a little bit of flavor. Now, if I had those other things, I would go ahead and uh, put those in the recipe because I do actually like a little bit of chopped celery in my tuna salad, but unfortunately, I, I haven't had a chance to go shopping and I didn't plan on doing this today. It's just actually, I just woke up and I said, Man, I'm hungry. I don't feel like me, you know, going out and buying anything. And actually, I was out of regular bread, if you can believe it. All I had is this, uh, this special ciabatta bread in here right now because the rest of my bread got moldy this week. And I was like, Damn, well, what am I going to do? Rather than run out and buy stuff, I'm just going to whip up something from what I have here. So we're going to make some makeshift tuna salad. Salad. Um, all right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to open your tuna and drain it thoroughly. So we've got our can opener here, and obviously you want to be very careful whenever you're dealing with any kind of a sharp household tool. Um, I recommend you get an automatic can opener because, for example, this one barely even works. It's very hard to even get it to work, but, you know, it is what it is. It's all I have right now. And what you're going to want to do don't actually remove the entire lid, okay? Because what you're gonna wanna do is drain it. So go maybe three quarters of the way around, which is what I did there, and then you bring it over. Woo, I can smell the tuna already. Stinky, stinky, but it's delicious. And you go ahead and you drain your tuna. Get all that water out of the can. Try to get it as dry as you can, okay? Last thing we're gonna want
by the way. I'm angry. Angry Crow? No, fuck Angry Joe. Fuck, we want Angry Crow. That's my guy. Uh, hold on. Uh, soggy wet and soggy tuna salad so that's done and then once you're done with that you take a knife any knife it could be a butter knife but I just grabbed this knife because it was the closest one and you bend your lid be very careful and you just take that and you get your tuna into a bowl now depending on how big how much tuna salad you're making obviously you might need a much bigger bowl than this but in this case I'm only making enough for a sandwich or two here I'll probably save a little bit because I'm sure this is gonna be more than enough for one sandwich and uh, so therefore, you might want a bigger bowl later on. It all depends. If you're making this for the family, obviously you're going to want more, a uh, bigger bowl. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll open this can as well. And like I said, this thing sucks. It was really hard to, oh, to get it to pierce the can sometimes. There we go. So look at that, popped right off. This is why I hate these old-fashioned can openers, especially the ones they make today, because they don't make them like they used to. You know, back in the day, everything was made of stainless steel. Everything was strong and worked and was durable. Now everything's a piece of crap. Because they try to cut corners and everything's made in... in ...some third world country. But anyway, I digress. All right, so we're going to take that. Strong and worked and was durable. Now everything's a piece of crap. Because they try to cut corners and everything's made in some third world country. But anyway, I digress. All right, so we're going to take that. We're going to drain that as well. Almost done here. Okay. Open that carefully. Don't cut yourself because these edges will be very sharp. I learned from experience. Don't freaking gouge yourself here. get as much out of the can as you can. It's okay to have a little bit left behind. All right. I got quite a hefty helping of tuna in that bowl now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Miracle Whip. Now, depending on how much tuna you've used is how much Miracle Whip you should use. What they say is for every six ounces of tuna, you should use a half a cup of mayonnaise and or Miracle Whip. In this case, <clears throat> I'm going to add it, see how much, you know, what it looks like and if I need to add more. Um, half a cup for six ounces. Well, I've got ten ounces, so you figure I might end up using all of my Miracle Whip here, actually, because I don't have a heck of a lot left. This might be the end of it. And like I said, unlike mayonnaise, this is vegetable-based. It has a lot less, a lot less, um... Shit, where's my cup? There you go. A lot less calories, a lot less fat, a lot less cholesterol than regular mayonnaise. And so it even looks identical to mayonnaise. It actually does taste quite different. It, is, it has a tangy zip to it that I personally like. So let's see if I get that in there. That's little, it's probably about half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Shouts to Mickey Gall. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna no, he's actually he's actually part of the uh, the secret lore of these streams. A video you actually can't find anymore because uh stuff happened. Now literally all you do is you stand here for a while and you mix it, and it's gonna make your tuna salad. Because this is the one time I watched uh. There's really nothing to it. That's one time I watched uh, this. That's a lot of fucking milk. Holy shit, that's a soup. That's like fucking chowder. Fucking two and a chowder over here. God damn. I kind of had a slightly bigger bowl because now this bowl's ending up being a little bit. Fucking hell, bro. Chill. I want it because now it's starting to jump out of the edges on me. Ooh, I can smell that onion powder. But yeah, I want to see him punk I really lose. I wish I had some celery because, like I said, I do like some pieces of celery and, uh, in a salad usually. Mickey Gall beat him. Also, uh. 
I like how hmm, CM Punk is trending. And then oh, way too much for one sandwich. Any person Mickey Gall fights you're tomorrow. Just one whole bowl of this with tuna salad. You're gonna freaking die, man. Don't do that. Very I'm gonna suspicious. I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna make this an interesting sandwich rather than just a plain sandwich. Now, what you, I, I don't really know. I think it's do, a conspiracy. It like this, I think that I think it's it's, it's, that, it's them. Um, the uh, orchestrators of the universe are coming for us, man. A little bit, but this is pretty much ready to serve. Honestly, I think I put a little bit too much Miracle Whip in there. I think I could have... Miracle Whip. Yeah, I think so, too. That's fucking potato um, salad, bro. Right yeah, I, you think so? so? Just experiment. I like think I said, so, too, my man. It's, it's hard to do when you're not doing it exactly to the ingredients that the recipe tells nah, you. No, I think you just suck, bro, but okay. I'll accept that. For six ounces? I think that recipe was absolutely wrong because... If you don't uh, all right, Phil. So. That thing's going to be drooling. I mean, that was... What I put in there was about roughly half a cup. And that was 10 ounces of tuna, and I think it was too much. But I also think that they were assuming you were putting a lot of other ingredients into it, like the celery and it's so mind numbing. And, and other things. But anyway, this is roughly your tuna. I can't. Salad. Actually, it looks like it is a little bit dry in the center. Mix up a little bit more. Now, what are we going to do to make this not just a regular tuna salad sandwich? Well, here's what we're going to do. Over here, I have... Two unique things that can make this different. I have a piece of ciabatta bread and a panini grill, okay? Now, let me tell you something. This panini grill is amazing because this panini grill, it'll cost you maybe, the cheapest one I've seen in a store is maybe like 30 bucks. They go all the way up to like 80 bucks depending on how big they are and all the options and things like that. This thing is amazing. It turns regular sandwiches into like gourmet lunch, really. I mean, I've had so many days where I just made a regular sandwich. I was like, eh, it's just a meat, you know. It's a, it's a ham sandwich, and you toss it on there, and it melts the cheese, and it gets every, everything nice and warm. It's a really, it takes the, pulls the flavor out of things. So I highly recommend for anyone who, who eats lunch, you know, like sandwiches all the time, panini grill is excellent. You can also interchange the plates on this grill. They come off, they're easy to wash, and you can also have interchangeable plates that are flat, and you can use this as a regular grill as well. If you don't have like a, a stove like I have, and you, or a frying pan, you can use this as like a griddle. Um, so I'm going to turn this guy on. I'm going to turn it on high heat for a sandwich. Now this is ciabatta bread. Ciabatta bread is special because ciabatta bread... Whoop, whoa, I just smashed the camera with the ciabatta bread. Hold on, let me zoom out. <laughs> ciabatta bread is special because it is a, th a different consistency than regular bread. It is a thicker bread. Um, and what this is made to basically do is to... It, it grills very well. It, when it toasts, it, it turns into like a hard toast, and it can be flattened like on the panini grill. And as you're going to see, it's really good for grilling. So what we're going to do is we're going to start building our sandwich on this ciabatta bread over here, and uh, then we're going to toss it on the panini grill. So let's actually start to clean up a little bit. The Miracle Whip's done. I'm done with the can opener. Get that out of the way. Okay. Done with this. This will get washed. Man, I really wish I had other ingredients because that is a soggy tuna salad. And I wish it wasn't that soggy, but there's not much I can do about it now. Um, all right. I'm going to open my... Obviously, you don't have to buy pre-cut lettuce. This is just... They had it on sale at my store, and I was like, wow, pre-cut lettuce. That's an easy way out rather than having to actually, you know buy a head of lettuce and start cleaning it and stuff like that. This is pre-washed, pre-cut lettuce that you can use on a sandwich. So we're going to go ahead and just take some of our tuna salad that we just made. We're going to put it on our panini bread. I'm sorry, our ciabatta bread. Take that back. Panini bread is different. There is bread specifically called panini bread that is different than this bread. Go ahead and Apply. Now remember, the way that this is going to work is it's going to go on the grill, it's going to push it down. So what you want to try to do is get as much towards the center of the bread as possible so that when the pressure gets applied on top, it'll squish it out and it'll evenly distribute amongst the bread. And we'll put a little bit more. So this is enough for maybe another two sandwiches, actually. Any crackling noises you hear right now, that's actually the panini grill. It's actually warming up and it makes those noises as it warms up. All right, so let's get that out of the way. Um, up next, we should probably do some of the pickles. So what we'll do is we've got some pickles here, and we grab a fork. We'll grab a little baby fork to use for this guy. <laughs> 
And I love these pickles. Pickle master. Because they're perfect for this kind of sandwich. They're sweet. They're delicious. You put them right there. Bloop. Like that. And I love these pickles. So I'm putting two on. I'm sorry. I love them. Bam. Right there. So we've got two pickles. We're going to go ahead and put a piece of cheese. That will melt on there nicely when we put this on our panini grill. We're going to put a little bit of lettuce. I don't want to make too much of A little bit of lettuce. Not too much lettuce. Can't be too healthy right now. Come on. But you know I'm going to anyway. And then we're going to go ahead and put that on top. So when this cooks on our panini grill, you're going to see it's going to toast it nicely. Um, actually, I put too much tuna on the sandwich because I can already see it's running off. So I'm going to take some of this off the edges. Well, it's, it's unavoidable. Whenever you cook something on a panini press... Something's gonna come off the sandwich. Whether it doesn't have to. You can just kind of put the bread around it. Some of the ingredients they always fall off. I've never had like a perfect panini sandwich where you know nothing came off of it. It's inevitable because you're putting pressure on top of the sandwich. So obviously something's gonna fall off of the sandwich. Um, you can right, just so not have it sticking on the bread. You can just it's, it's, heats up and is almost ready to go. All right, Phil. Do you think he kept that? Up as we speak, and as soon as that. Do you think he kept the panini press? I wonder. Because he might not have. But he might have. But then again, he loved a PS4 at, his, at, at this place, so. And pretzels. Just throw the fucking pretzels out. What the fuck? Or, like, give them to Rambo. Like, DSP moved out of his house, and there was, like, bar stools, an AC unit. Like a portable, like a one of those like portable AC units that you can like kind of like drag around like on wheels and stuff, and has like a tube. That shit. Fucking a broken PS3, not PS4, PS3, and pretzels. And no move in or anything. Just fucking toss the pretzels out. Give them to your friend. I don't know what the fuck, man. Like, hey, bro, do you want these pretzels? Also, what the fuck is that? And are those, is that, is that sugar? Because I, I would think it's sugar, right? But like, the kettle's all, always over there. It's always on the stove. And there's no coffee maker in sight, so why is there sugar next to the fucking sink with the pills and the knives and not with like the thing that makes liquid that you put sugar in? Is he baking? He's not baking, so... That blue well, light on the right hand knob, it means that it's ready to go. So let's move our sandwich over here in preparation. In the meantime, I'll clean up a little bit over here. Whenever you're using a panini press or panini grill, be extremely careful because that sucker gets hot. Let me tell you, I used to work at a health food store. Yes, I said that. I used to work at a health food store in high school. All we sold was like Frozen yogurt, uh, salads, uh, panini sandwiches that were made to be, you know, fit sandwiches. And we used a panini grill similar to this one, only it was like an industrial strength one. The thing was, you know, made to be used all day long. And uh, let me tell you, that thing got so damn hot, you would just go like this, whoop, oh, you could freaking burn your finger right off. You're like, holy shit, man. Because that thing would be on constantly all day long. Now, some other things that you can add to your tuna if you like. A lot of people like to add pepper. I do know that. Um, I personally, I like pepper a little bit, but not too much. So I didn't put any pepper on this, but you can if you like. It is a common ingredient. All right, so our panini grill is warmed up. Our, our right-hand blue light is now on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sandwich on the grill. And you got to be careful when you do this. Like I said, it's going to be very hot. You open the grill, leave it open. Ooh, you see the steam come off of it right away. I'm going to put our tuna salad sandwich down. You probably want to position the bread a little bit back because when you close it like this, it's going to actually flatten the sandwich and pull that. So what I usually do is I do this. I put the bread a little bit back and I already angle the top like this. Some grills are lucky you can do that. And then that way when I push it down, voila. 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 So essentially, rather than just a regular tuna salad sandwich, what we're making is a panini grill tuna melt which is probably going to end up being a lot more tasty than just a regular tuna salad sandwich. 
and I, I can already see some of the tuna's coming off the sides. That's perfectly fine. Just like when you make a tuna melt, there's always tuna that you know hangs off the edges and it gets grilled on the grill. That's fine. So our tuna melt is melting. Clean up a little bit more here while we wait. Typically, when I make a panini sandwich like this, I leave it on the grill for about five minutes. Um, it all depends on what you're making, but you want to make sure that your bread is toasted properly. Because you don't want to end up with bread that's like soggy, which unfortunately has happened a couple times. I took it off the grill too early, and the bread ended up being very soggy because of all the juices and everything from the meat and everything that I had in the sandwich. had actually, you know, seeped into the bread, but I didn't cook the bread long enough. So it ends up being kind of a mushy bread, which you definitely don't want. So my apologies, I'm passing in front of the camera a couple times here to put some things in the dishwasher. No recipe. Let's go. You put cheese on it. In ingredients, ingredients is cheese there, cheddar. There you go. Uh, this one is that the is that what kind of bread is that? Some fancy ass bread. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese and butter, of course. Okay, so that's a tuna melt, tuna salad sandwich. Sandwich. We toast the bread. I'm not seeing any panini bread here. Okay, so, so so tuna salad panini. Probably a thing. Obviously a thing. That's a melt. And there's still cheese on it. Yeah. Okay, so so I I'm really not getting where he got this idea to just put tuna salad on a panini with egg? What the fuck is wrong, with people? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure what he thought was going to happen, but I do think. I don't think he was drunk. I think he just forgot to think for a little bit. Because this is a really odd. Just take. I'm so upset. Done. I'm so upset at, at seeing this. Put on tuna melt, lettuce, tomato. Some people like bacon. It's so rough to see. Um, I've seen some interesting things added to tuna melt sandwiches, so it's totally at your discretion and your taste. That's the cool thing about this kind of a sandwich. Take it off. Very, many variations of ways you can make Take it. it off. The basic recipe is just tuna and mayonnaise or a mayonnaise substitute, so a mayonnaise. it's easy to make. It's not that messy. Is that a vitamin? It's not that big of a deal. In fact, the biggest mess we're going to have That's like a vitamin is multi going to be the grill because some of that tuna is going to have seeped onto the grill. And there's the um, salt and pepper shakers, I guess. Huh. Bro, just take it off, please. God damn it, I'm so upset by this. It's just sitting there. Becoming victimized. Fast motion camera, you know. I'm not gonna edit this video to uh to skip to when it's done, so if you're bored. A fast right now, I'm not gonna okay. Go take a piss, go take a shit. Go it's a dog, video. Go do whatever you need to do. Go walk your dog. Go. Go slap your baby on the back. Well, oh, you didn't say in this one. I'm not gonna pause it. You'll be surprised how long lettuce can last if you put it in a nice ziplock. I'm. Bag. I'm feeling like there's a video recently. Like, go fuck your mom or something like that. Like go. No, the exact line was go have sex with your mother. Which is a very odd line. But Phil. He is a mama's boy. He do be mama's special little boy. So I don't know, man. Linda Burnell loves her some Philly Lily. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, because you fucking put it in there for like, like 10 minutes. Get it off! No, you put too much of the tuna salad inside the sandwich. If you're going to do, say, up to 10 ounces... 
of tuna. Put a little bit less than half a cup. That was just it was a too much, too much. Why not just put less in, what was there. in, fact, in the sandwich? Take another can of tuna and add it to that. You that didn't have to put it into the sandwich. To try to even it out. It was way too much. <sighs> Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Little right sigh. Away. I'm gonna take it off. As you can see. I fucking. We made a mess on our panini grill. Yeah, we did. Which we'll have to clean up later, but do not do that immediately because it is so freaking hot. Now that is one messy sandwich. <laughs> and the reason yeah, it's so messy, messy, messy is because there's way too much Miracle Whip in it, so that's a shame. If it had just a little bit less Miracle Whip, <sighs> film, 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 and uh, all of our ingredients wouldn't have slid like that. They all sl kind of slid right off the sandwich. But what the fuck? Is... Try to get them back on there a little bit. <laughs> so depressing. Gonna pickle, so that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a messy sandwich to eat. But you know, just understand the basic recipe of yeah. The recipe sucks. Easy. Um, the recipe is I shit. I'm disappointed with the presentation. I guarantee you, this is gonna taste good. No one's fucking not. It looks like shit. It looks like. <laughs> Okay, so again, I'm not a chef, but I have a tongue. Maybe there is cheese on that shit. I don't know. It's just not a lot, and it's in a bad position because it's kind of just fucking sitting. It's whatever. Whatever. Fuck it. But like, okay, so it's a shit ton of Miracle Whip to tuna. It's like a two to one ratio of Miracle, Miracle Whip to, to tuna. It's fucking scuffed. Not enough cheese. And even if there was enough cheese... It's on a pickle, and it was some thick cut fucking pickles. So you get that 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 tanginess of the pickle on there, mixed with the tanginess of the tuna, with the nothingness of lettuce, just the crunch of lettuce that's been destroyed by the fact that it's been heated. So the the crunch that lettuce gets from having water in it, because that's a plant's work, gone. Dehydrated lettuce. The bread is fucking probably dry as sin because he didn't butter the bread, I don't think. And that's about the sandwich. It's not bad. It's edible because it's all food. It's just not. I wouldn't want to eat it. You know what I'm saying? It looks like someone like just freaking took a crap on a piece of bread. <laughs> so, but anyway, piece of crap. Um. Sometimes you win some and you lose some. Um, it's going to be tasty. It's just no. going to be really messy. So no, I don't think so, man. About it now. The recipe was a little bit off. No, you were a bit off. Learn. You Remember, were off, though. You didn't have... What recipe? The there was no the recipe. Go fuck yourself. You are, you are the recipe. Don't use that much. Use less. But also you can put other ingredients that would have evened out the recipe, such as parsley, celery. Um, yes, put more shit in the sandwich like that fell apart when you put in the knee um, press. Like I said, other things put more shit in there, please. Kind of Lettuce, tomato, Add bacon, more stuff to it. Over oh, some like more. I prefer pickles with my tuna salad. I don't know why. I prefer I a pickle. The pickles with tuna salad. So, all right. I'm going to let this cool down because, by the way, when you take something off the salt, table, salt, 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 salt. Cool all I can taste is salt. I'd say before you even dig in. Mm, hot tuna and mayonnaise. monstrosity. <laughs> Which is uh, going a hot over pickles, the place because there's too much Miracle hot tuna, <laughs> hot mayonnaise, and hot lettuce. Is, like I said, the Miracle Whip is actually not that bad for you. It has less than half of the fat and cholesterol of mayonnaise. So imagine if I had made this with mayonnaise, that thing would have been an artery clogger. So good thing I didn't use that, and I used alternative ingredients. So yeah, the mayonnaise would kill Phil. There's a reason why we call this poorly cooking with the K. <laughs> this is pretty poor. I uh, agree. DSP, I hope that you that is DSP recipe to make it a little. I don't want to touch that recipe. But keep in mind, we were also doing a panini, and paninis can be hit or miss, especially with a liquid-type ingredient like we had here. And that's kind of why the sandwich is falling apart, too. So, all right, that's it for this episode. All right, welcome to another episode of Poorly Cooking with the King. And today we're going to be doing an American classic. And it's actually one of the quickest things that you can cook uh, in your kitchen. Really easy. We're going to be doing hot dogs. But also, as a little side, uh, I have some – well, they're hidden – Got some baked beans that I'm going to be making at the same time. Um, don't have too much to put on the hot dogs, unfortunately. Uh, I looked and I completely forgot this week. I needed relish. I needed sauerkraut. There's like three or four things I was going to buy, and I completely forgot about it when I went shopping on Monday. So that's my fault. But uh, we're going to show you the basics. So for starters, if you're like me, you don't know exactly what you're going to eat every day. okay? And especially if you're like me and you live alone, I don't think you're going to be eating eight hot dogs in one sitting. Now, most hot dogs come in these eight packs, unless you buy them fresh from your grocer, which you can do. You can get them from a deli singly. Um, what I do is usually I freeze this eight pack, and then when I'm ready to cook them, 
what you do is you take them out, and my sink is actually full of water right now. What I did is about an hour and a half ago, I filled the sink up with warm water. I took the frozen eight pack, threw it in there, no and now it is perfectly thawed. I mean, these are ready to go, ready to open and cook. There it is. Look at so all those little guys in there. Thaw hot dogs relatively quickly now. I actually like Nathan's Beef Franks because I grew up with them. They used to be a Nathan's at my local mall. I used to eat there all the time. And I really like the flavor of them. Obviously, any kind of Frank They're all pretty much the same. I love but anyway, I'm going to drink my make sink. cinnamon rolls in the morning for the kids. No, but who wants to heat up a big old oven What we're going to do is we're going to fry them up. There are different ways to make hot dogs. You can boil them. You can fry yeah, them. Uh, you can grill them. Well, you know, uh, I don't have with a grill party. here, obviously. Here the quickest way for me to do this and to show you guys how, you know, the quickest way to cook them would be to fry them up. That's what we're going to do. Super easy. I mean, I can't even... It's really hard to fuck up a hot dog. Let's put it that way. You really have to try. Um, so let's down. go ahead and get this started. What we're going to do is we're going to spray, as usual, you usually can put butter, but I like to put Pam. Spray that in the pot there. In the pot, Are in the pan. Are going to feed me? Just covering I am, it there. it's going to be really hot. That takes care of the coating. And eat it. We're going to go up and turn it up to roughly medium heat. So fresh, so crisp, and so great okay. pizzas. I'm going to make you um, a white pizza. At the pizza. same time, we are going to cook the pizza, baked beans. Here's the thing. Red. Any can of beans that you get, the easiest thing on the planet because it's already cooked. All you need to do is warm this up and you're ready to go. So we got a pot here. We're going to go ahead. Unfortunately, I don't have a mechanical can opener, so this could be a pain in the ass. But we're going to open this guy up. Be very careful not to cut yourself when you do this. The other bummer is, for someone like me, obviously this can of baked beans is way too much for one person, but I live alone. So... Unless I invite someone over to share dinner with, I'm going to have way too many beans. I'm going to eat some, and I'm going to end up getting rid of the rest. Go ahead and, oops. Our lid is stuck, which you like to be super careful because the lid is so sharp. There we go. All the beans out of there into the pot. All set. We're going to go throw that out immediately so that there's no threat of getting cut. And like I said, the easy thing about this is there's no, no instructions needed. All you're literally going to do, you put them in a pot like so, you cover the pot, make sure that the beans are an even level in there, not that you have one tall hill of beans in the middle. And you go ahead, you can turn that right rear on medium heat. And you're just going to wait for it to your liking to heat up. Maybe you like them steaming hot. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just like them lukewarm. That's completely up to you. Um, so we're going to do a couple things. I also want to toast my, the, the, the buns for the hot dogs. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my grill on. My panini press like you saw on the video for the tuna salad sandwich. Two reasons I'm doing this. Number one, because a plain white bun can be really boring. And number two, because these were frozen. So they're kind of thawed out, but not completely. So I do want to toast them a little bit uh, before I put my hot dogs on them. So what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and get this going. Before you fry anything, I've told you, turn on. If you have a fan, you have to turn the fan on at least low. Last thing you want is to have smoke coming up and have a, a smoke alarm go off, which has happened to me before. So we've got our hot dogs here. I'm going to go ahead and cut them open, being very careful, careful not to, if it's an open flame, I, this is an electric stove for me, this is safe for me to do this, if you have a, a gas oven, do not ever put your hand like that under the grill, you'll burn your freaking hand off. I'm going to go ahead with one, two hot dogs, now, to make sure the hot dog does not burst, because what will happen is as it cooks, it'll actually start to swell. You have to make small incisions, okay? Diagonal incisions across the top of the dog, such as so. Don't go too deep, because if you go too deep, your hot dog is going to pull apart when you're cooking it, and it's going to basically not look like a hot dog anymore. So that's that. We're going to let that sit there and start to fry for a little bit. No big deal. Um, I'm going to wash off a couple things over here while I have the chance. Grab my oops, towel from over here and dry this off. All I'm going to do very simply with these hot dogs 
you can, you can, it's, it's your choice. I've seen people do different things. Some people will say, oh, I don't want to leave that in the original packaging. And they'll completely wrap these six hot dogs in new plastic wrap and, and then wrap it in foil and put it in the fridge. Me, I do simple things. It's called a freezer bag. You put the damn thing in the freezer bag. You know, I'm not a perfectionist. Put it in the freezer bag. You, you basically fold it. You push it so that you make sure most of the air is out of the bag. I always buy the Ziploc bags because those are the easiest ones. Voila. And I toss that back in the fridge or in the uh, freezer and it'll refreeze for next time you want to use it. Okay. Now, the key to frying a hot dog is to not cook it on one side the entire time. Because what happens is, as you'll start to see, you'll start to see some sizzling under the dog. You'll start to see, let's actually zoom in there. The juices are starting to sizzle. If you overcook one side, that's how when you see those hot dogs with the bubbly skin and you get those hot dogs with the crunchy skin, the burnt skin, that's why it's like that because it's cooked too much on one side. Some people actually like that. I know people who actually go for crunchy skin on hot dogs, and I do not. I'm sorry. I like a nice, plump, juicy, tender-looking hot dog with maybe, you know, some grill marks here. actually like that. I know people who actually go for crunchy skin on hot dogs, and I do not. I'm sorry. I like a nice, plump, juicy, tender-looking hot dog with maybe, you know, some grill marks here or there. actually like that. I know people who actually go for crunchy skin on hot dogs, and I do not. I'm sorry. I like a nice, plump, juicy, tender-looking hot dog with maybe, you know, There, maybe a little bit of burning on on the side, but I don't like it. That's so room temperature, goddamn. Big, you know, bubbly skin. So as you can see, I flipped those hot dogs. Big bubbly skin. And uh, already you can see they were starting to grill on that side. They were already starting to brown. <sighs> and you're just gonna keep rotating them until you're done. Now you, you don't want to take these off until say at least at the very least five minutes has passed. Some people like raw food, and you know, <laughs> I love like. A raw medium rare steak or a, a some people rare like rare raw food, food. Hot dog, I want to make sure my hot dogs cook some people like raw food and I some people like raw food now that's I guess that's true I suppose yeah you know, I love like a, 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 a medium rare steak or a, a medium rare burger but I like a medium rare steak or a medium rare burger so raw because I like medium rare steak too but it's fucking raw you can just eat it. You cooked it enough. A hot dog? I want to make sure my hot dog... But a hot dog? That's where I draw the fucking line. This cooked meat? I can't have that shit medium. What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, buddy. It's cooked. So I'm probably going to cook these until several sides are browning. Several uh, sides? This side one side is cylinder. Off of the frying pan here. Um, as you can see... The beans are steaming up, which means they're getting warm. And this pan, this pot actually has a hole on top, so I could put my hand over the hole. It's in the back; you can't really see it, but there's a hole right here, and I can feel that it's getting warm. So it's getting to the point; they're starting to get good there. My grill is almost warmed up. I'm gonna wait for that light on the right-hand side to turn blue, and then I know that it's fully heated up. Then I'm gonna toss my buns on there to grill them. Extremely simple. You know, if anything, I'm hoping that I can teach some people how to cook them the simplest meals. You know, bacon, egg, and cheese. A quick, 
scrambled eggs, a quick hot, how to do a hot dog, you know, the most a burger. So you know, these are the things that no one teaches you if if you know if you don't have time, if you don't have someone sitting at home cooking for you. How are you ever gonna learn these things? So, all right, our grill is ready. Now, what I'm actually gonna do, put it down this way. I'm gonna get some nice grill marks on these buns, and. I'm going to let it sit like that for a second so it starts to grill, then I'm probably going to just press it for a very short amount of time. Now, as you see, our hot dogs are now bubbling. We need to flip them again. That's the sign. And you just keep rolling them around. Just make sure they're not cooking on one side for too long. And yes, they will fight with you. You will find that the hot dogs will like to roll themselves around. That's what actually happens when they get hot enough. They actually start moving themselves in the pan. And you have to fight to make sure it doesn't keep landing on the same side or else you're going to end up with a burnt hot dog. A burnt hot Just fucking, they're done. Just heat them up, bro. Isn't this exciting? Those beans are probably almost ready. You can see all the steam on top. I'm checking and they're starting to bubble. When the beans start to bubble, that is the sign that they are ready. So I'm actually going to get the bowl ready. If you want to be safe, <laughs> which you probably should be, which I usually aren't, but I'm going to be safe now. Use a ladle. Don't just pour the damn pot into a bowl. Use a ladle to get it into the bowl. Turn that heat off. Get that lid into the sink. And is the camera? Yes, the camera's correct. Scoop those beans right in there. Those are nice hot beans. I'm not going to eat all these beans. There's no way on the, on the plan I'm going to eat all these beans, but. Sink. Use a ladle. Don't just pour the damn pot into a bowl. Use a ladle to get it into the bowl. These beans. There's no way on the, on the plan I'm going to eat all these beans, but. Like I said, it's tough when you live alone. It's tough to find things that you can either make small servings or you can save. Like, you wouldn't want to save beans that you keep reheating reheating they're gonna turn into mush especially if they're a good brand like bushes i like bushes they're a really good tasty brand and i wouldn't want to keep reheating these things okay we're gonna flip our hot dogs in a second but what i'm gonna do now with our buns as you can see we're starting to grill nicely look at that we got beautiful grill marks i'm gonna go ahead and flip them like that those buns are toasting very nicely now we're gonna go ahead here Flip our hot dogs again. They're probably already bubbling up on that side. And as you can see, they start to curve. Where you cut the hot dog it seems to separate itself. That's good. That means that you did the right thing. It's not going to burst while you're cooking the thing here. Actually doing a pretty decent job of keeping it on the parts that haven't been cooked Now, the yet, thing, so I, that... thing I, I want to just notice. Okay, so... There's no good way to cook hot dogs, but he had a panini, panini grill right there. Why not just put them on the panini grill? That's what I don't get. You have a grill, like a, a grill grill. Well, not a grill grill, but like a grill right there. Why not grill the hot dogs on a grill? I don't know, my friend. <laughs> it's really, very funny. Wait, it's not going to be uh. overcooked. That's good. I'm going to rinse out my pot while I'm waiting for this to finish. Make sure you got a little bit of tiny little beans left I'm going to put into the garbage here. Beans in the garbage. Can't just save them. You can't just have them later. No. Toss them out. It's hard. But he, saw, he, wasn't, he wasn't broke. Okay, look at... It looks like... I'm sorry, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy who's like, oh, it looks like come, but it looks like come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, it's bubbling. It's a bubble. Look at that. Look at them shits. The pan is sweating. He this pammed the entire pan for two fucking hot dogs. What was this dude doing? 
What is this audible like being like bougie? Is this hood rich? This is hood rich, huh? Yeah, it's hood rich. Okay. So our big beans are ready. I'm gonna move them over here. Careful, the bowl's probably steaming hot if you put them all into one bowl like I did. I'm gonna say that our buns are probably nicely toasted at this point. Oh, they are. They're perfect. Perfect. Turn this boy off. Let it cool down. Hot dogs probably need flipping one more time. And we're almost done. At this point, they're pretty much cooked almost on all sides. We've got no overcooked bubbly skin, which is good. You do want to try to keep the hot dogs near the center of the pan. As you can see, remember I told you they were going to start rolling themselves? Well, here they go. It's just fucking They're getting accustomed to being cooked on one particular area, and they want to stay on that area now. So that means they're almost done. Um, but yeah, you want to try to keep them in the middle for maximum heat. If you're cooking them on the outside, what you're going to find is they're not going to heat up enough, and they're going to take longer to cook. Because it's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, another minute, another couple seconds here, we'll be good to go. I'm actually going to get these buns ready for the dog delivery. And, uh, what I'll actually do, we're going to do traditional ketchup, and we're going to do spicy mayo, because let's face it, spicy mayo is the only mayo you should ever put on a hot dog. Spicy mayo? These people who put that yellow mayo on Yellow dog, mayo. He was so offended by it. Dog, man. Sorry. The way he said yellow said mayo. mayo. Yellow mayo. Um, sauerkraut, relish, onions. Am I shedding right now? What the fuck? sometimes ketchup if people want ketchup on it. For me, unfortunately, huh. I don't have any of those other things besides the spicy mayo, so... That's a lot of ketchup, my dude. Calm down. Jeez, uh, oh my god. Holy shit. Get some ketchup on those buns. Jeez. All right. That's a man's dog right there. Done. All right. I think we're good. One last check. Yes, we're looking good. They're looking plump and juicy. Cooked. Looking plump and juicy and cooked. Go ahead and deliver it straight to the bun. Sounds like fucking so. Jack Scofani right now. Like a nice juicy hot Continue dog. So that way you Same. Keep the Bit of on, <laughs> nice white sauce on mustard. there. Yeah, I'm just. Wait. Go. Oh, he's not we making the. We got a little I just realized he didn't make beans and wieners. He made hot dogs what do you have? and beans. Two juicy, hot, ready to eat American style hot dogs. They look a little messy, but that's because it's poorly cooking with the king. And a bowl of hot, ready to eat This looks so it's sad. Hot here. I'm gonna this is like a fucking, like, motherfucking, cool like, homeless shelter meal? Jesus buns. Christ. You can add whatever you and like. listen, I have nothing against the, the homeless. Spicy mustard, you know, uh, uh, sauerkraut, chopped onions, keep on keeping uh, on. Relish. That's called the works. And that really is the keep living. in America, what people put on their hot dogs. But, so, like, goddamn. For me, I, like I said, unfortunately, I didn't buy the ingredients this week. I completely forgot, so. But anyway, that's it for... This episode of Cooking with the King, that thing's ready to eat. I'm hungry. I'm going to dig in. And uh, maybe next time we'll go for something a little bit more complicated. Something that has a complicated? little cooking time or whatever. No. But I guess we'll have to see what I, I'll have available. No. But anyway, that is it. Enjoy. What's up, everyone? And welcome to another edition of uh, Poorly Cooking with the King. Um, today, we are going to You keep saying poorly like that. I don't think it's that it's, it's poor, but it's not as bad as you think it is. already done, but it actually completely changes the dish. Um, 15 minutes. Eggs and, uh, <laughs> wow, excuse me. Ooh, you can tell I'm hungry. My stomach's like, give me food. Um, we did scrambled eggs already, and if you remember, the easy way to make that dish was just to take You know, I've never seen Rachel them, Ray in person, dish, not in person, on camera. Pan, what does she look like? And uh, move them around until they're scrambled, and then your dish is done. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a variation on that and attempt to make an omelet. Now... 
She was rotund, that's true. Omelet with a little bit of meat, uh, ham and but I mean, big ups. Shout out to. Now, I do want to let you know, unlike those cooking shows that lie, no, she I just had a round face. I did do a little bit I of preparation for today's cooking, and it's a wide thing. Prepared is that that guy? I don't know who that is. Uh, slices from, you know, basically I don't know who that is. He, I feel like I should know his face, though. Supermarket and some sausage links. I've already cooked them, and I've chopped them up. So those are good to go. To Shout out to Rachel Ray for holding omelet. it down, I guess. Um, and I and losing weight, big ups. Right Poggers. Hope you're happy. Cooks. So what we're going to do is we're going to make Bro, leave alone. Add those ingredients. It's very Bro, what the fuck? That's toxic. Uh, it should turn out all right. Um, this toxic and picture. Down, obviously, this will add maybe up to five minutes of extra time. Better fucking live her life. Jesus Christ, man. On TV, they love to say, oh, it's a ten-minute meal. But then they forget to mention there was 45 minutes of prep involved. So, all right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do the same exact thing that we did to make sure... Every single eggs. fucking time, we're going to fry Basically, some eggs. Gonna go ahead we're going to put some shit in a frying pan. Eggs, uh, into a bowl. Is it Pam time? I'm gonna get serious. The egg cracker. Yeah. Slam the boy down. Crack that shit. It's gone. Alright. Let's go. Professional egg cracker. He's, a, he's part of the egg gang. No, he's, he's, he's splatting some eggs. He's anti egg gang. Look at this. Pro. This dude's a pro. Look at that shit. One solid. <sighs> Not one solid chunk, chunk, but uh. Da -da -da -da.
pack it and get it done. All set. Go ahead and we'll wipe that little bit of egg mess up before I forget. Because for me, I will tend to forget and it'll sit there until I see it again later today. Alright. We're going to add a little bit of milk like we did last time when we made scrambled eggs. For me, since I'm partially lactose intolerant, it'll be the lactose-free milk so that I don't shit my pants later. Just a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and whip those eggs. Apron's falling off. Here we go. Which is it's not a big bowl, you just go ahead and whip them like this, no big deal. So basically they're one solid consistency like we did last time. Now while you're doing that, since it's so easy, I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to spray my pan, my frying pan, which is off camera, with the pan. And I'm going to start heating up the pan to medium heat. Just to get that done. There's nothing to it, you don't want to make much of a mess, so you can do a very small whiskey and dime delay. You can also do this with a spoon, like I had mentioned in my... Uh, scrambled egg video, however, if you do it with a spoon, it might take a little bit longer. A whisk is obviously the best thing to use for this. Uh, it's a no-brainer. Okay, we're almost consistent, which means we're pretty much ready to go. Alright, we're ready to go. We've got a nice solid yellow there. We're waiting for the pan to heat up a little bit. Gonna be a very basic recipe. Uh, we're basically we're gonna add the egg to the pan. We're gonna let it fry for a little while. And unlike what we did with the scrambled eggs, the scrambled eggs, if you remember, we waited for it to start to solidify, and then we started moving it around to scramble it. In this case, we're gonna let it sit there, and we're gonna let it solidify as if it were one giant egg pancake. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, so let's see. We're starting to heat up. We're gonna go ahead and add the egg. And it'll coat the bottom of the pan nicely. Opening my bag. I was muted. Simple, How long was I? In? Oh, I fucking tabbed. I fucking tabbed it. I lost. For all you whiners, Shit. I do all the plastic spatula so that I don't destroy the Teflon in my pan. Even though I've never destroyed the Teflon in a pan before, I had an overwhelming number of people when I started these uh, videos start complaining. Phil, how dare you use a metal spatula in a Teflon coated okay, pan? Okay, Phil, we got it. Okay, food. Phil. And I was like, oh boy, here we go. You know. I've only been cooking for, you know, my life and never had a problem, but Bro, the internet and okay. make one video and people will start second guessing you and telling you they know better. So rather than fight with thousands of people who think that they're smart, you got a plastic spatula. He's so spatula. salty. I actually had a plastic spatula anyway, so I ran out and bought one. But anyway, just like with the scrambled eggs, is going to go ahead and cook. He's so salty. Um, he can't even like make scrambled eggs properly. You saw him whisking. <laughs> he was staring at an egg starting to cook in a pan, which is annoying. Um, <clears throat> I'll up the heat just a little bit. Try to get this going. And, uh... It's pretty simple. All we're going to do, we're going to wait for the egg to start to solidify. And as the egg starts to solidify, then we're going to add our ingredients to the omelet. And I have way too many, by the way. I'm not going to add all what you saw on that plate. That was way too much. Um, I just wanted to make sure. But, but I had some leftovers, and it's better to have you know more than enough than not enough. So I figured since I have the leftovers, might as well prepare them all for the dish. And really, I think the mentality of what you should go for, when you make an omelet, is that you're making an egg burrito. Only the egg is the actual tortilla in this case. So you're putting your ingredients in the middle of the omelet. And uh, you're going to wrap it up in the egg. Man, I love this stuff. FRS, healthy energy drink. Oh, it's delicious. It's not carbonated. I'm going to talk about it. And he tries it for sure. I just tried it this week. It's really good. It's full of vitamins. Get you going. It's good for you. It's made of green tea and all kinds I'm of things. I'm just going to this one day. I'm sorry. The only problem is just like anything else that's good for you, it's expensive as shit. <laughs> So as you can see, what's happening is our egg is starting to solidify. The areas that were clear are now turning white. Which means that this egg is now starting to cook, which is good. What we're looking for here is that the egg will start, ah, like we saw on that side right there. It'll start to move. I mean, you can tell if it's not liquid like it is on that side and it starts to move, that's how you know that you're getting there. So I'm going to actually move that a little bit closer to the heat, trying to get that side to cook better. We want the entire thing to be one big solid egg pancake, basically. That's what we're going for. <clears throat> 
we'll let it go a little bit longer, and then we're gonna start to add ingredients to it. There we go. See, it's starting to solidify. That is perfect. That's exactly what we want. I fucking can't. So this is so trash. All right. So now that it's starting to solidify, we're gonna add our ingredients to it. So we'll add some pieces of ham. You can add as much as you want. You don't have to, you know, don't overdo it. Obviously, let's add some sausage. Whoops! That guy went crazy. Okay, let's get some cheese on there. I'm also gonna add some salt and pepper, which I did not. I'm so fucking soulless pepper. right now. I can't. I what is that almond? So Jesus Christ! I, I didn't season these things with salt and pepper, but that was so long ago. It was one of my first cooking videos. I can't. So okay, hold on. Doing I'm it sorry. on camera, per se. Just a little bit of salt. Pinch of salt. A tiny bit of pepper. Whoa! That was not a tiny bit of pepper. God damn it, I used the wrong side of my shaker. Oh, oh my god. This is gonna be the pepperiest omelet in human history. God damn it. Did you see that? Oh man. Oh, I just ruined it pretty much. Well anyway, it's not gonna ruin the recipe, it's just gonna ruin my meal. So as you can see it is nice and solid now. So once it's nice and solid like this, what you can actually do, actually it's a little bit liquidy, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer, then I'm gonna flip it. I can't believe that much pepper came out, man. Holy shit. That sucked. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat this, too. I'm not gonna throw this out. I'm gonna eat this. Damn it. Oh, man. So much pepper. Fuck. I almost feel like I should grab a paper towel and try to... Nah, I'm not gonna ruin it. God damn it. That sucks. All right, just like a fried egg, you can hear it. It's starting to crackle, which means it's almost ready to, to turn into our egg burrito, per se. So what we're gonna do... Get close enough to it. We're basically just gonna flip the most solid, whatever you think is the most solid portion, you flip over. Um, whoops. And you can flip it over in halves. I've seen people flip over omelets in halves, or I've seen people just go ahead and, this is falling apart, god damn it. Yeah, fork, if you ate me. Slide this guy over. So it's a pretty messy looking omelet, but it's an omelet. <laughs> you know what? We'll just go ahead and roll this guy one more time. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it's pretty much like making an egg burrito. And this guy's pretty much done. You can, you can cook it more if you want, you can cook it less if you want. Um, let's go ahead and I don't have a clean plate. As you can hear, once you roll it properly, the thing actually starts cooking itself. Uh, I should have actually rolled it a little bit earlier, which is why it's so brown on the outside, but it's still good. Okay, so, there you have it. It's your basic omelet. Um, a little bit, whoa. Hope oh, I didn't shove it in your face. Your basic omelet, it's going to have ham, sausage, and, uh, melted cheddar, um, Obviously, if you get it in a diner, I've seen this in many different ways. Sometimes people just flip it over once, and it looks like a half a half moon almost. Some people make this burrito. In fact, when I went to uh, IHOP uh, when I was in Tennessee for my trip to Tennessee this year, they always made it in a burrito like this to make more room on your plate for other stuff. So it all depends. There's many different variations on the recipe, but this is ready to go. So there you go. Extremely easy. It's In my opinion, it's pretty much just as easy as making the scrambled eggs because it's the same recipe pretty much only.
You add ingredients and you flip it over once it gets more solid. So this is DSP. What is up, everyone? It's DSP with another episode of Poorly Cooking with the King. And uh, this particular recipe I've made several times. Um, this can actually be made as an appetizer. It could be made as a full meal, depending on how much you make. Um, it's a party favorite. It's something that can be shared with your friends, and a lot of people seem to enjoy it. Uh, commonly, when you go out to places to eat, you might order this for an appetizer or something like that. And what we're talking about is a chicken quesadilla. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to be doing, I'm going to make two of them today. Uh, one for me, and I'm probably going to save one. But anyway, uh, we're going to do a couple things. Uh, it's going to involve the panini press. We do not need the, the stove at all today. The panini press is perfect for this kind of a dish. It's going to melt everything perfectly the way that we want. Um, so what do you need? What are the ingredients that you need? Well, first of all, obviously, the no-brainer ingredient is that if you're going to do it, you need some kind of tortillas. And so I just got the regular burrito size is important because what I've noticed is when I go to the supermarket, they usually have two or three different sizes, and the burrito size is the biggest one. It's the one that you're be able to do this with. If you get the smaller ones, you're going to have to make a smaller uh, quesadilla, so something like that. Uh, obviously, panini grill if you have one. If not, you could always fry these or do something like that, but it does not come out as well. Now, here's our various ingredients over here we're going to be using to make these uh, quesadillas. We've got some fresh peppers. Now, actually, funny story, these peppers, normally, I would have actually just bought them uh, you know, from the regular, uh, my local supermarket and just pick them off the shelf. When I went the other night... I Why am I muted? They were actually out of pepper, so I had to get the pre -packed Fuck. Pre -packed three, which is I'm typing? Cool. Um, these are, oh, they're great. They smell great. And also, this is pretty... Look here, it's a little... It's a mutant... Bro, pepper. registers every single small, keystroke. I'm sorry, a red pepper that had a small green pepper growing inside. Oh, that's so it's toxic. All right, pepper. okay. Uh, what we're going to do, first thing... Well, let me talk about the rest of the ingredients. Mexican cheese blend. You need any brand. This is my local store brand. Big Bugged market, fucking talkie mechanics. Um, just make sure that the cheese is not too thick. If the cheese is like a thick cut, it's harder for it to melt. Um, you can just shave the cheese, buddy. Things. You can get fresh chicken breast and cook it and cut it yourself. I obviously don't have that kind of time being a gamer and I have like a hundred other games to play. And being a gamer. But... Gamers don't have time to find this usually at your local supermarket. They call them short shave cheese and cut chicken. It's a grilled chicken breast that they've actually pre cooked and chopped up. So it's pre cooked. It's similar like a hot dog. It's pre cooked. A hot dog. Some of it, refreeze it. It doesn't matter. It's not going to go bad because it's already pre cooked. You don't have to worry. Just like a hot dog. I know some people made comments on my hot dog video. How could you refreeze meat? Well, you have to understand a hot dog is cooked, fully cooked. And if something's fully cooked, it's not a big deal if you refreeze it and use it again. And as I made a comment, especially for me, I'm living alone. There's no way I'm going to eat an entire meal of this much freaking chicken or eat this three times in, a, in a one or two days before it goes bad. So this is okay to refreeze as long as it's fully cooked. And this is fully cooked. Um, some other ingredients. Now, what I found, in my experience, is to try to make quesadillas, okay? I tried to simulate what the sauce was that they put on these quesadillas if you go to, say, Taco Bell. Because um, you can get steak or chicken quesadillas at Taco Bell. I found, that first of all, it was a ranch. It's, it's a ranch variation, I believe. But I think it's either a chipotle sauce or what I found is a spicy ranch kind of a dressing like this actually is really close to the flavor of what I found when I went to, say, Taco Bell and got their quesadilla. I'm sure every single restaurant does it differently and has their own recipe. But for me... I found any kind of like a ranch or spicy ranch variation is usually what I want to use as a sauce on there. Um, so, like I said, fresh peppers. What we're going to need after we cook our quesadillas is things to dip them in because you don't just want to eat a plain quesadilla. That's not fun. So you might want to just grab some salsa from your local grocer. This is actually on sale, which is why I got the giant one um, for dipping. And then also you can get sour cream, which I do have. I have it in the fridge. I'm not going to take that out yet because it will start to, to melt. But anyway, um, so the good news is this is one of the most basic dishes you can make. It's really hard to screw up. If you do screw please, up, Phil, to start, start, Phil, to start, Phil, to start, please. Too much of an ingredient, which makes it basically a sloppy mess. A so sloppy mess. Ratio, right? Now, I've done it both ways where I haven't put enough ingredients in and it ends up being a little dry or not as tasty. And too fast. On the flip side where I put too much cheese or too much sauce in and the thing when it goes on the panini grill goes bleh, all over the too place. Too fucking fast. Mess. So today I'm going to try to get the proper ratio. This is fine now. Anyway, Starting off, as you saw what I did, I started to chop up some of these peppers that we're going to put inside of these two quesadillas. You don't want to do too many, because if you do too much of any one ingredient, it's going to overpower the flavor of the quesadilla. And the last thing you want is, only, I can only taste peppers. I can only taste, you know, uh, the cheese. I can only taste one certain ingredient. And what I like to do is cut it into very small pieces, almost like minced, because I don't want to get an entire mouthful of, say, you know, just pepper. I am using a very large knife that, you know, you can get with any standard knife set. Um, so be careful <laughs> when you're doing something like this. Obviously, don't chop your hand off, because... Uh, I don't want to have your parents contacting me telling me that you've they now have a one armed child because uh, they saw it. Child, one armed child. Like this. <laughs> okay. He was calling your kids. Pretty straightforward. All you're doing is shopping. It's for Derek out there. 
Yeah. Young, like six year old Derek. Was Derek alive? Yeah. Derek's like so actually 10 back then, probably. Huh? You don't need a lot. Uh, I cut off the bottom ends here. You can obviously use those if you want, but I cut off the bottom ends because I wanted some of the fresh rings. No, fresh none of the, no, like original date. I mean, probably 2011, um, maybe? Peppers can actually, if you wrap them properly, so Derek was like actually like, you know, like, they cannot last about a week. Like 12? They, they start to well and go bad. So obviously, I'm going to save these and hopefully use them for something else later this week. I'm not sure what it is. Real point. young Derek. Put them over here so that we don't think about them while we're making our quesadillas. So, what do you do, basically? Well, make sure you can still see that. Please, so to start, it, please. Oh my god. Tortilla number one. It's actually kind of small. I'm surprised. I wonder if that's just a midget. It is a little small compared to that one. Hmm, doesn't matter. We're gonna make two anyway. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start to heat up my panini grill because it does not take too long to make these and I want this to be warm. So, I'll turn the grill on. I usually have it on high heat. And if you watch any of my other cooking videos, you know when that right-hand blue light goes on, we'll know that it's hot enough to start. Uh, I do right apologize, the light is a little light. dark in my kitchen. One of the light bulbs blew out today, which pisses what me off. I just sw switched the light bulbs out a couple weeks ago, which basically means I ripped off. But anyway, I digress. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is put your sauce in here. And what you want to assume when you put your sauce down is... Ranch. My me, favorite. Which way you're going to fold. Case of yeah, DMX. I'm going to like distribute the sauce, but hopefully be it so that it'll all, at least when I fold it over, go into the crease. And you have to think in your head, don't put so much sauce that when you fold this over and the press goes out of it, it's going to squeeze the sauce out of it. So you don't need a lot. You don't He's need trying, a very small amount. So He's I'm trying his best. Grab a, uh, Knife? Small spoon. Small spoon. To do that. Go ahead. Make sure it's mixed up. This is pretty advanced, actually. It's kind of nice. Oh, never mind. I think I'll like, put it in the spoon. Amount. and like. like so. Oh, whatever, you're trying. Some good coverage and flavor I look there. so fucking um, dead right now on camera. This, this sucks. A little extra this isn't engaging at all. Like so. So that way there's a little bit more in the center. Okay, now. Whoa, got that. Leave it like this. So I'm going to go back to it. Next goes your chicken. Well, actually, let me take that back. You can put a little bit of a sprinkling of cheese down first, because that'll be the cheese that'll melt against the tortilla. Most of these cheeses now have a zip closed bag, so you don't waste the cheese, obviously. Now, here you go. A light coating. Just a light coating of cheese. Now your chicken. And the way that these work is that they're actually the same thing. They're zip, they're zip packaging, but they could be a pain in the ass to get it open initially if they didn't do like a dotted perforated line properly. And I find more often than not today, these days they don't do that. So it's looking to me like I'm gonna have to do is either cut it, because this they never open. They never freaking open. They don't know what they're doing. So yeah, easy tear, tear here, but they didn't put a perforation on the bag. So how is it easy tear if they forget to put the dots on the bag to rip it off easily? It's not, you fuckers. I hate that. Easy tear, but you have to actually put the tear line on there to do it. And more often than not these days, I find they don't. So here we go. We're just gonna cut the damn thing. To get it open. Idiots. Okay. Alright, so there we go. We're open. We have our chicken. Get this out of there. We're going to do a line of chicken here. Like I said, this is pre-cooked. It does not have to be washed. It's ready to go. It's ready to go inside of your quesadilla. So we're going to basically line one side of this with the chicken. Because remember, you're going to flip it over. You're going to fold it over. So we have some pretty good coverage of chicken. Toss some peppers in there. Spread them out. So you don't get too many of one kind of pepper. In one bite. Very basic, as you can see. I'm, I'm just so, top, like so. And then we're gonna put some more cheese on top of it. That's some more cheese. cheese Please, Phil. Okay. Now, see how easy Please. That. that was nothing complicated whatsoever. Anyone can do that. Thank you, Phil. Over like so. Honestly, now, this is a pretty good video. So we're gonna whip through one more. I will. I will give him that. Compared to the other ones, this is pretty. It's pretty sauce. sweet. Oh, That's of a... course, too much sauce comes out. So this one's gonna be messy. You see, I thought, like I, said, I thought you'd like put the might, sauce in the spoon, no, this might be, this might be fine. and then like spread, spread it with the spoon, but I guess, see, that's too I'm advanced for me. In the middle, like I did with the other one. I think we're good. That's good. Okay, good coverage. Okay, what a mess this is right now. Ugh. Make it out of our way. We're going to go ahead with some cheese. Some cheese. Perfect. I think it's be perfect timing for our grill. Light coverage of cheese, we'll do it on the other one. Okay. In this case, we'll put the chicken down on this side, since that's the side that's leaning downwards there. Again, just spread the chicken evenly. Don't put it too close to the edges, because then it'll fall out when you go to grill it. And for the most part, just put one thin layer of chicken, like so. Feels like my grill is actually ready, so let's get this going here. Green peppers, red peppers. Spread them out. Okay. Now a little bit more cheese on top. You might want to make sure, like I'm doing right now, that it's not too close to the edges when you put it on the grill, because naturally what's going to happen is when you do put it on the grill, it's going to press, and when it presses, it's going to start pushing the ingredients outwards, and you don't want them to fall off. So, here we go. Get the 
Camera zoomed in a little bit. Hey, look at Dwayne Johnson. Oh, Put these suckers on our grill. Woo, be very careful. It's super hot. Super hot. I worked in fast food for five years during high school and then early college, and I would actually work at a store where we used to make this kind of stuff on panini presses. Did he? Some nasty burns from a panini press. So be careful. Um, so what we're going to do, just like we did with the other thing that we put on our panini press, when you push it down, you usually do a spatula to angle it so that when it goes down, it presses it firmly. Make sure that there is pressure so that it is actually like clamped between there and it is cooking and melting. Um, and here we go. It is going ahead. Just we clamp it in there. It's going to be better than one that you can get at like Taco Bell because we put other ingredients in it. We put, uh, we put some healthy peppers in there. Taco Bell. Healthy peppers. We're not trying to get them to put anything in there besides cheese and... and their, their whatever their dressing is. I don't even know if it's, like I said, if it's spicy ranch or not. It's probably some custom-made concoction with five zillion calories, I'm sure. Remember, you can put any kind of sauce in there that you like. You don't have to put sauce in there if you don't like, but then understand it's just going to be cheese and chicken and whatever else you put in there. I like it because you put a little bit of sauce because it gives it a little bit more Ooh, of a... giving a mouthful of meat and a little bit of sauce. It. It's not dry. Let's put it that way. It's not necessarily wet, but it's not a dry <laughs> case of the Moist? Uh, damp? Right, so uh, I've sealed it. It has a vacuum seal. No, I, I guess... Sure that all the on yeah, it. moist works out. Is next week with this. Go ahead and put the cheese away while that cooks. Please, oh, I can't. Yes, this is so away. exhausting. I don't get it. How is this? How is this so tired? No wonder Phil is so tired playing video games. This is, this is exhausting. No need to scrub the, the blade with all you've done is cut a pepper. Peppers are pretty much, you know, water. Plant cells, so it's not like it's gonna. Do <laughs> like water and. Okay, so since Phil is saying that kids are watching this, uh, kids, he's not wrong, but I mean, plant cells are living cells, so they do, they do kind of like, they do, they do rot when you, when you, when you, when you wash a knife, really just squeeze that sponge down or something, you know what I'm saying? Don't just run it through water, squeeze it down, go crazy on that dude, well don't, with a sponge. And hold it from the from the blunt side, not the sharp side, and rub it down. But yeah, it's a while. Knife advice. Go ahead and create the two dipping things that we're going to use to dip this in. And traditionally, as I stated, there's two things that people usually use to dip chicken quesadillas, well, any kind of quesadillas in. One is salsa of some sort, and the other is sour cream. Just rinsing off my uh, cutting board so I can dry it off and put it away. Always use some kind of a cutting board when you cut uh, vegetables or fruits. Um, it doesn't have to be wood, an official cutting board like this. I've seen very small, very thin ones made of like a rubberized plastic. You don't want to be cutting on your counter, you have to show the damn thing. I've seen a lot of counters, giant nicks in them. I was like, how the hell did you do that? Oh, I was cutting on it. What? Why would you do that? Why would you destroy your countertop? Destroy your countertop. What that is, is, as I said, what happened, as this cooks, the ingredients are pushing to the edges of the quesadilla and a little bit of the, the sauce that was on there just dribbled out the side. So it's going to happen. You're going to hear some sizzling from the cheese and the, the sauce as it spreads itself out. But what we're going to do now. I'm going to get the sour cream, and we're going to basically do a plate of the two things that you dip this guy in. There it is. It's fresh sour cream, too. I haven't even opened it yet. Fresh it up. Probably nearly impossible to open, so let me grab one of my... Uh... Another great thing to have is something like this. It's a foam rubber gripper to open cans like this. Actually, look at that. Super easy after I had that. So, so useful in the kitchen. And they're super cheap. You can get them at any supermarket for like a dollar. So we're just going to put some salsa out on the plate. To dip these quesadillas in like that. And then we're going to put some sour cream out. Not too much, but enough to get some. So I'm just like staring at my hair right now. It looks weird as fuck when I leave one. In my gamer, gamer face. I love a good salsa. I, like, I too love, love good salsa. salsa. For whatever reason, I don't know. I guess it is kind of my favorite. I've had others. I'm like, yeah, Tostitos seems to have a lot of good ingredients in it. That it has some good flavor. The salsa rander. Sounds like our quesadillas are almost ready. Yeah, it sounds like they're fucking sizzling. Look. First, I'll give them another push. Oh, yeah, squeeze it out, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at those grill lines. See what I mean? Beautiful on a panini press. You get the grill lines on your quesadilla, which is really cool. What we're going to do is take a spatula. When you have a skillet, you can just... I mean, it's just heat. You can just, like, use a skillet. But, okay, I guess you don't... If you're lazy, sure. Wow, these might actually be perfect. I mean, when I say that, I mean, it was just enough sauce and cheese 
that it cooks to the very edge. I'm, what am I doing? I'm freaking... <laughs> Jay, I wonder why you can't see it, because I have such a freaking close-up, you can't see the final product. The sauce and cheese was just enough that it went to the edge of the, the tortilla, as you can see, and it's now that we've taken it off in perfect timing when it started to sizzle, it's going to solidify, and therefore it's not going to overrun. So what you're going to want to do is probably wait about five minutes, to be completely honest, because it is really hot when it comes off the grill. Then you can take a simple knife, and you cut it into four. A so simple one, two, knife. Three, as opposed to a complicated knife. Started to sizzle, it's going to solidify, and therefore it's not going to overrun. So what you're going to want to do is probably wait about five minutes, to be completely honest, because it is really hot when it comes off the grill. Then you can take a simple knife and you cut it into four. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and each piece. What's, is a, four what's, a, what's a complicated? Okay, 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 hold on. Okay, hold on. What the fuck is a complicated knife? Okay, that's that's not that's not that's what I thought I get, not what I wanted to get. That's one word. Okay, what's a, what's a what's a simple kitchen? I guess a simple kitchen knife is just like a kitchen knife, huh? And that's a, nah. Okay, fuck you. What you said a simple knife? What the fuck does that mean? I mean petty right now. Fuck it. And you dip them into your sauces, so you can get some salsa on one, you can get some sour cream on one. I think it's fucking squeeze like a nerve or something. Really quick, my leg. No, little to no prep required. The only real like weird angle. Knife, any plates that you use, and the panini grill if it gets dirty. In this case, Honestly, so hey, it's Dwayne the, the Rock Johnson. Grill, love that dude. Right there, so it's gonna be two seconds to clean it, so I'm thrilled about that because I hate cleaning this damn thing. Um, that is it. That is the dish. Chicken quesadillas. It's quick. It's easy. It does not require a lot of cooking skill whatsoever. Made two, of course. You get the right ingredients. And uh, like I said, always be sure to get something a little extra. Don't just do cheese and chicken. I've seen people just do cheese and chicken. And I'm like, that's so bland. Get something. Put seasoning in it. Put some peppers in it. Get that's what's seasoning all right. This fancy and boy also, over here. Don't just eat the quesadilla. I do recommend. Fancy boy over here. All right, this one's done. All right, time to. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Every every to the return. Hello, everyone. See a furry. Hello, everyone, and I will never need this, but I want to use them. Hello, everyone, and welcome. To the return. The return. The glorious return. If you're looking at what we're showing you, you probably... Got idea of what it is? Ladies and gentlemen, cooking. No, nope, I'm sorry. Poorly cooking. With the king. Has returned for 2014. Woo! What we're going to oh, do today. No. I can't believe this because this was completely unplanned. Uh, God damn. This morning, it is very cold in Connecticut. They're planning. Oh, I say this morning as I filmed that it's 1225. That's pretty funny. No, um, hold the fucking phone. With the King has returned for 2014. Woo! Okay, hold on. I need this because that was so fucking i was i was legit like is phil making that sound and i, I realized oh no it's the pander no nope, i'm sorry poorly cooking with the king has returned for 2014 <laughs> what we're gonna do That was so intense. What the fuck? Do today, and I, I can't believe this because this was completely unplanned. Holy shit! Uh, this morning it is very cold in Connecticut. They're planning. Oh, I say this morning as I filmed that it's twelve twenty-five. That's pretty funny. Um, we just had a dusting of snow. Uh -huh. Apparently, we have several inches, if not more, on the way. Uh -huh. So. We are planning to stay in today, all day, mm -hmm. and because of this, we are going to cook. We're going to cook some breakfast, even though it is lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And the thing that we're making today, I've made many times before, but I was, I, I said, gee, let's look it up on, on cooking, poorly cooking with the king, and we'll find the recipe, and we'll, we'll actually make it per the specifications that I make it made on poorly cooking with the king. Come to find out, I never did this. 
I never filmed this, which I'm extremely surprised at because I swear to God I thought I did, and I could not find it. So today we are making simple French toast. Okay, nothing too elaborate. We're adding a couple few, uh, a couple little, you know, things that may kick it up a tiny notch, but nothing crazy. None of the twenty thousand calorie variations that you've probably seen on YouTube if you're into cooking. There she is. The fucking lady. <laughs> so, what do you need to make simple French toast? Well, first of all, a, a, a little, you know, up front. We are making also turkey bacon. So, I've also prepared a few things. For we got turkey bacon there. We got a plate for, here, for it. Here, let's get a plug. Here. No, Buy this how dare brand you? And then we'll, how we'll dare get, you? We'll get royalty. How dare we'll get you? Money. So, I have two frying pans ready. One for the bacon. One for the French toast. For the bacon, we've got these tongs that you can use to flip the bacon easily. Now, what do you need for the French toast? You need a bowl. You need at least two eggs. We're going to use two today. You need bread. You need some kind of thing to grease your pan. Some people use butter. I'm using Pam. You need milk. I use lactate because I'm half lactose intolerant, meaning if I drink real milk, I get very gassy. Mm. You need cinnamon or cinnamon sugar. We're using cinnamon sugar today. Please. Start the video. Using bread, obviously, as many slices of bread as you would like to prepare your French toast. I'm going to have three Yo, slices. Like Leanne's going to have two. Mm -hmm. and this is a guy who I think, yeah, he uh, rated DSPs like uh, da -da 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 -da. one of his vlogs sometimes. I forgot which one it was. Probably can't find it. If there was like a a tev tev ago, I could probably find it like that, cause that was the one it was. He just like rated DSPs videos, but whatever. Just some dude in poor lighting getting all these fucking views. Big ups, Sh shout outs. Look at this! Look at this video! Look at him! He's in! He's in the shadow realm. He's been banished. He's actually been banished, and he's still doing a vlog. This dude's fucking in the in the in the pits. Where is he? Where are you at, though? Look at him. Look at him. He's an adventuring man. He really blowed up a lot of views on a lot of views on this. What even is this? What even is this? Whole lot of views. Shoutouts to Lincoln Simpson. My man. My man. Obviously a spatula to flip that. I don't know and who that a is. whisk. Alright? So, the first thing you need to know if you're making simple French toast, you need to prepare the coating for the French toast in the bowl. So, my assistant Liana will, will help us here. We got nice farm fresh brown eggs from Connecticut where They're we live. Brown. All right, so we need to crack two eggs and put them Wait, into the bowl. Oh, yeah. One. Very good. Two. Two eggs. Ew. And she got them all over her hands. That's what happens when you do that. Salmonella, salmonella, salmonella. Can you not be over my shoulder yelling Sam Hill? Sam Manila, you've got it on your hands. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Okay. So, while she washes there, the next ingredient into our mixture here is milk. Some people say two thirds of a cup. I say that's too fucking much. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my milk like this in my hand and I'm gonna pour it. Watch this. Okay, that's enough milk. See that? That's how I do it. I eyeball it. That's not very accurate. Then we're going to take our cinnamon sugar. Then? Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. We're going to open it. Oh, it went all over the floor. It really did. Ah! It like exploded out. Look at that. That was Ugh. so annoying. Yes. Well, it wasn't supposed to freaking come out like that. I guess we, last time we used it, we must have... Uh, well, last time I used it, I must have screwed it up. Yeah, you did. I need a little bit of sprinkling. There we go. We'll mix that in. Cinnamon sugar is really like. All right. So now I mean, we it need sounds a like a, one of those uh, eight bucks right at here. the grocery store type deals that We're I wouldn't pay for. I could just get brown sugar and then get cinnamon separately. Go ahead I don't and know. whisk, sweetie. So while she whisks, I'm going to take my Pam. I believe I'm going to spray both of these pans 
prepare for the frying as I also turn on the heat. My finger is bleeding. What the fuck? Yep. If you're not aware mm. what Pam is, it's cooking spray, non-stick he, cooking spray. Let's see that again in slow motion. That's a money shot right there. God damn. God damn, girl. You really lose her. Oh. Ooh. 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 If you're not aware what Pam is, it's cooking spray. I also like that. It's cooking spray. spray. Uh, it's cooking no spray. No fat in it. For real? And it's actually made I from never knew. healthy oils. You can get different ones. Olive oil. This was made from canola oil. Uh, but you can get different specific oh, ones. Um, so this one. That? Is I guess oil. I, I guess you would spray turkey bacon because it's not like bacon. There's less fat on there because it's like a it's like a it's like a fowl. It's a bird. Birds don't have a lot of fat in them, so I guess sure. All right, I suppose. Oh, that whisking is looking good, actually. I'll allow it. Would you doubt my power? All right. I'm a woman. This is my calling to be. So she kid. whisks. While she whisks, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this turkey bacon's frozen, as you can hear. Well, it's actually been thawing for like the last. 20 minutes. Still frozen. Rock yeah, hard. Oh, shit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the microwave for 90 seconds to 2 minutes to get it to thaw. Is that in the plastic? Wait, what? Start with 90. We'll see how that does. Okay. Alright, I think your whisking is done. Okay, now I... I... Again... Two minutes to get it to thaw. Start with 90. We'll see how that does. Okay. All right. I think your whisking is done. I'm gonna go ahead and toss those eggshells. Why? Do you want to keep them? Also, get these eggs back into the fridge, as well as the milk. Get this stuff out of our way. Okay. Thanks for the burp. The pan back. Good job, Dad. We're going to need the cinnamon sugar for later, so I'm not putting that away yet. Now what we're going to do is move our bread over here towards the mixture, because we're going to need this shortly. Now, we're going to turn our pans onto medium-high heat, which is a 7 on my stove. I don't know what it is on your stove. Uh, for this one... A 7. Well, it's right product 7. Rear. rear. Oops. Well, that's the right one. Okay, right rear. Right we'll rear. We'll start it around to seven. We'll get it hot. Okay. Hot. So. So. Wait for it to warm up, because obviously you don't want to do it too early. You want to do it too early, of course. And uh, the turkey bacon's almost nuked. Almost nuked? All we're doing with the turkey bacon, what we're not this? looking to cook it in Why the are we back? We're just looking to thaw it out enough that we okay, can separate so the strips you're fucking and toss telling, it. You're fucking telling me this, this series evolved so much. That last episode of the quesadillas, honestly... It was pretty all right. Then he stops doing it for a fuck ton of time, comes back to doing it, and we're back at the start with the fucking handheld camera. But now Pandalee is here. Make her hold the camera. What the fuck? Get a try. I mean, it's not like Pandalee didn't want to show her body. Okay, that sounds weird. But it's not like Pandalee didn't like show her her torso on on camera. Uh. Not, not that. Was it slushy magic? Slushy magic. Did that re-upload? No, it's the archive. Hold on. Okay, I, find the, I, want, I want the original. I want the original. Hey, cooking with Jack. Wow, that's... fucked up. There are but like 2012, this was like 19 year old Panda Lee. This was, this was to success with new Google Panda. Apps. Just came but out. Just know, released. This was like... He, he pre-ordered this panda. And he had her doing... He had her doing... Yeah, wait, no. He had her doing this. Keep shaking. No, hold on. I offered to shake it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. That's what he had her doing. Yeah, hold on. I can't go to 3.30? What the fuck? Keep shaking. Boob zooming? Shaking. Keep shaking. Yes. Bouncy. Keep bouncing.
So it's not like Pandley didn't want to be in the kitchen and be on camera. But, like, for some reason we can't have it's tripod? for frying. Although it is true that turkey bacon is actually pre-cooked. You could actually eat the turkey bacon right out of the, the package if you wanted to. Yeah, I know. But most people like it crispy. Crispy. My dad doesn't. He used to eat bacon right out of the pan as soon as it went in. That's gross. Yep. <laughs> so, yes, we want to make a crispy bacon. Nice crispy bacon. So, the question is, is it separable yet? And, oh, it's hot. Yep, it is. See, look at this. You can tell because, look, it's moving. It's gelatinous. So, let's go ahead. Put that down. All right. Wait, so, they're starting that's to warm up. plastic in the microwave right there. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, We're going to wait for the pans actually to warm up a tiny bit more before we do anything. And then we'll open our bacon. We'll toss our bacon in the pan. Just fry, just, How just many strips toss, do you toss want? Toss package in there. Two? That's it? Oh, okay. What is this? A piece of French toast, two pieces of bacon, I'll and have, some juice. I'll probably have okay. three or four all right. pieces. All right, okay, okay, all right, all right, okay. The way she's acting right now, tell me, tell me that's not like a like a like a child, like a literal child. That's the reason people think DSP is sus because the way Pandy is acting right there is so fucking like questionable. I feel uncomfortable observing this. I feel like I've committed a crime. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Sound good? Alright. Depending. And then All after right. watching this, I don't know, man. What? Am I bacon? Yeah. This was before. Yeah. She was she was younger here. Oh, oh damn it. Alright, the whisk is done. We can get rid of this. So why don't you try that now? So why don't you try putting cinnamon sugar on bacon? When cinnamon sugar bacon. Oh. Dude, I need to know if that's actually good. Yeah, carnival food. Now. It sounds like it's a horrible yet amazing idea. It is. It's, I, I mean, it's, it's something right, sweet it's on bacon. Hot, so and bacon's kind of sweet already. Bacon. We need that's how bacon it, works. Uh, open this particular one. There's a peel so you can uh, peel the corn. Be very careful because the juice is probably very hot. The juice is very yes, hot. I'm aware. I've made bacon before. Yeah, she's, she's made bacon already. That hot. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, that's gross. What the fuck's going on? Okay, that's fucking disgusting, man. So that way we can get the strips out easily. But you want it. No, you want. Ha! But then how do you seal it? Alright, we go ahead and we're going to start putting the bacon onto the fryer. I guess we'll put it on the front one, since it's the closest. It makes sense, way, right? Bacon packages right, are a fucking good. scam. Jesus it is, Christ, really? Oh, wow. Very thin. The way they package it, it's like, oh yeah, we have the paper part over the okay. fucking topmost strips. To move it? No, hold on. I'm fucking... Shut up, DSP. I'm complaining. So yeah, we have the, the paper label over the topmost part of the fucking... Of the, of the bacon. So if you want to get to it, you have to peel the bacon, all, the, the, the plastic, all the way back. Then pull the paper off. How do I reseal it? Now, I'm not sure if it's healthy or not, but I, I I put the bacon in the fridge when I'm done with it, and it stays for like stays for like a like a fucking week, if not more. Cause it's fucking bacon. Who could have thought the bacon might be like this, dude? What the fuck? I'm not a crackhead. This is this is. Disgusting bacon. Big bacon needs to go. Too good for too long, if you know what I'm saying. There you go. Like I said, I'm probably gonna have three or four. So. Okay, so there's your. Keep tossing them. Yep. Keep tossing those. You probably fit them all in the pan yeah, once. Yeah, gross. I mean, probably. You can see it. You can estimate. It. Use your eyes. One more. Okay. Oh, greed. Very good. Very good. All right, so that's that fries. Leanna will now it's a hot -ass get can the too. plastic Christ. wrap from below the below cabinet. Nope, middle cabinet. Well, why do you say below? But this then is it's high. The there it is. Wrap that sucker up and we'll refreeze it. Why is it like three or four? What the fuck? Plastic no, plastic wrap. wrap. Yep. Look at that sizzling already. What was that light sound? It's horrifying. So as I move that around. Sounds like fucking Silent Hill over here. That is the difference between turkey bacon and 
uh, traditional bacon is that the turkey bacon is actually 100% cooked through when you buy it. So you don't have to cook it technically, but I mean, who wants cold, I guess what, sweetie? flabby bacon? It's smoked. 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 <laughs> I can't read it anyway. There's no light. Stop throwing things. Why don't you get a light bulb, you fucking idiot? Uh, yes, yeah, your obsession with smoked. All right. All right. So as the bacon cooks, next we're going to obviously get to the French toast, which really what you need to do, it's like battering anything. You batter both sides of your, your toast, which yeah. is not toasted yet, but it's really just bread. That's true. And then you true. toss it in, you cook it. That's true. Very simple. Not very complicated. Um, but I can't do it with one hand. That's a simple one. God damn. Turn it down, right? It's gonna burn around. Right, and I can't see shit. All right, we'll do that later. Just leave it there. A shadow right. bacon. So I want to go ahead and batter the bread. Yo, bitch, batter that bread. You two working hands. Well, come on, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to try to do it with a wider bowl? We had a, another bowl that was much skinnier than this one. That's too late so now. So using the one that's wider to try to batter the bread itself as much as you can before you toss it into your it's frying pan. Bowl. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Very good. Damn that! I love that Leanna hand action. Very nice. And that heart-shaped uh, now into the pan burner blocker. Careful, because it will be soggy. Saggy. That's why the pan needs to be right next to it. That pan is on way too high. Holy right, shit. Another piece. We'll grab the spatula. That pan is fucking on way... That's just fried eggs right there. Jesus Christ. Now, as you fry this, you should be frying it till it's golden brown on each side. Okay? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, salmonella. But you have... Or over-toasted, you know? Mm-hmm. Which you also don't want. I have to flip the bacon too, so as soon as you're done with that, we will flip it. Okay. So we'll let that fry for a minute. It probably will need to be flipped soon. Go ahead and uh, I would wash your hands quickly, sweetie. I will flip the bacon. Again, turkey bacon, already pre-cooked. So you're not really looking for fat to come off of it like regular bacon. You're just looking to get a little bit of a singe on it. So that'll crisp up rather than be tough. Yep. Alright, now let's flip this. It's probably already golden brown. This is fried yeah, eggs. Look at that, perfect. Yeah, That's golden brown. That's perfect color. Oh, hey, buddy. That's exactly what we were going for. What's this weed? That's what I wanted. There we go. Damn. Uh, I want that Cut. one. Well, not it looks special. No, my my search results. French, Ooh, you know. Sizzle my bacon. Sizzle. Golden brown, huh? That's now, golden brown, huh? it all depends huh? on your personal taste. You could put some cinnamon sugar on there. Like, bro, that's how I make fucking French toast. It fucking it tastes fine, but it looks like shit. Right now, if you wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, or you could put it on afterwards. Some people it's already in the wash. Some people like a lot of stuff. Some people will put like whipped cream. Some people will put whipped butter. Cream. Some people will do syrup. So it all syrup. depends on your personal taste. Some people do fruits. But you want to actually serve your French toast, okay? So like it a is your own or something. Preference. Butter. Mm, look at that bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fucking burn. Oh my god, actually, it's holy shit. Turn it down, please. Why are your pans so hot? Where did I put it? Yo, it's dying. It's, it's so done. loud. Just ASMR? It's like a cracking done. fire. Ooh. It's like a fireplace. Holy shit. It's done. <laughs> All right. Take the bacon off. How long is this? 19, the longest one, I think? Is... No, it's not the longest one. Oh my. Okay, fuck this. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Speed that shit up. I'm out of here. Fast burning. This bacon's just about done as well. It's starting to really pop and sizzle. So that means it's pretty much done. 
So what I'll do now with these two inches stuck together, go ahead and separate. That's why I like having tongs, you can separate stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this plate with this plate down. Whenever you're making bacon, I know I talked about this in a, a very, oh. very old episode of Cooking with the King from years ago. Oh, oh honey. Ripped. Well, toss it. Toss it and quickly make another one because remember that plate's hot. Um, and you should always put down paper towels. Okay, we got so it. Take it off, please. It's there's black. no degrees. And by the way, I overcooked the bacon. Damn yeah, it. That's the problem fair. with turkey bacon. Oh, that's burnt. Well, the good thing is we have a whole thing here of more, so we can make more. <laughs> the second. How the fuck do you have two peop two whole people in a, in a kitchen and neither of them can say, like, wait a minute, this bacon's fucking burning. I can hear it burning. And no one thinks it's, you know, I should probably just, like, kind of take it off real quick. No, never. Not even once. God damn. Second piece is completely burnt. Third piece is completely burnt. Fourth piece, completely burnt. Fifth piece is actually not burnt, so we got two non-burnt pieces. That's no, burnt, too. This one also. All right. Three non-burnt pieces and three burnt pieces that we'll be tossing. I'll probably make some more afterwards. My mom would like those pieces. She loves when it's like yeah, well, not me. dead. Right Damn. into the trash because they're completely burnt. Tongs in the trash too. Just touch the lid, please. In the in the sink. All right, so I'll make a few more pieces in a minute. Oh no, tongs go. not in the sink. Next two pieces of French toast are in. Tongs. Okay. All right. What was this maneuver? What was this Third maneuver? Pieces completely burnt pieces. No. Nope. Like okay. Yeah, well, not me. Tongs, we can see the frame it touches. Wait. Frame, it touches right there. Tongs on the garbage can. In the garbage can. In the garbage can. Let's fucking go. Touch it against the fucking lip of the garbage can, too. Yank them out. Completely burnt. Slap them a little bit together. Get, make sure that the, the, the garbage kind of gets in there. Kind of grit it in. Back onto the motherfucking right, so goddamn bacon. Here you go. Next two pieces of French toast are in. Can I already tell you they're cooking quickly? Yeah, because it's fucking hot. I got one more piece yet. Oh, that one's a little bit overcooked, so that'll be mine. Aww. They're all overcooked. That's okay, it's because the pan's so warmed up now, you actually lower it a little bit. The pan's too warm, so it's cooking extremely quick. It was warm the entire time. There we go. That one's good. Yeah, that one's good. Like, I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a great chef, it. but like, come on. There's nothing complicated yeah, to French toast at all. I guess. It's only complicated if you add stuff. Yeah, if you're going to whip up freaking toppings for it, or, you know, toppings. fruit, or that kind of stuff. All I'm going to do, I'll probably have some of the syrup with it. We have strawberry syrup. The fuck is that? Maybe, maybe add some syrup. How fucking dare you? Syrup. 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 Yeah. Okay, I say syrup, he says syrup. Strawberry stirrups. Uh -huh. Syrups are something completely different. Scrape that shit on. Just scrape it, yeah. Assault it. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm gonna make one more slice for myself. Lord above. So that is it for Poorly Cooking with the King Simple French Alright, cool. I got docs like this. This is a docs. It's a docs ad. With the BMO app, we'll identify if there's a change in your monthly subscriptions or recurring payments, like when a free trial expires. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Poorly Cooking with the King 2014 Reboot, I guess you could call it. And it's funny because... Honestly? Uh... We wanted to cook at one point this week and make a homemade I meal really for, uh, you know, to eat here at the condo rather than going out every day. Incidentally, we had a huge snowstorm here in Connecticut, over six inches of snow, and therefore today we decided we just weren't going to go out. So we got all our ingredients together, and today we're going to make stir-fry steak fajitas. Uh -huh. We're going to show you how to you do it. It's actually quite simple. It's one of the easiest dishes I, I make. Um, <clears throat> so how does it work? First of all, you need a pan. Preferably, you know, one that has the non-stick. Oh, no, a DSC reply? And we're that to medium heat as we speak, okay? Jesus Christ. Poorly cooking with the king is an understatement. In my opinion, prepare, prepping ingredients and not simply pulling a, a pull tab is part of the fun when cooking with your lady. Maybe that's just me and mine. And mine? And mine. Ampersand mine. The purpose of this series is to show fast meals for people who don't have the food for food prep, i.e. me most of the time. <laughs> and then this, he got fucking ratioed on his own video. Don't look at that shit, bro. Fucking, you fucking play video games for a, for a fucking supposed living. Your ass stays at home all the damn day, and you fucking don't have time to prep your own fucking food? Fuck off. I was so angry. Holy shit. That was so angry. She... 
the amount of time she said the fuck in that isn't is godlike also. Poorly cooking with the king for a reason, hee <laughs> hee. Buying the meat and veggies for yourself would probably yield to walk twice as much food and for a, for the same price. And would take four times the prep. Imagine having to wash out those veggies and hand chop them, season slash cooking the meat ahead of time, etc. Jesus. No one's getting ratio on his own shit, bro. Oh, that's such a true. For shame. God, he got shamed. I can't. It's so fucking much. What ingredients do you need? You it's need one more left. Some kind of tortillas. In this case, we got actual multigrain fajita style tortillas. I never tried these before, but we're going to see how they are. My now, back is sore too. I'm steak, dying. Or you can get something like this. This is full okay, of onions this. and pepper. Spice fuck, to you're just staring at shit. Pan, which we're doing. It's we're just, that, that's all you need. It's just him looking at food that he... It's just him looking at shit that you bought from a fucking package. It's nothing. Warms up. Wait, did he spray it? Show me the spray. Show me the spray. Show me the spray. I want, I want, I want the spray. I want the spray. A little spritz. It doesn't have to be... Poorly cooking king with the... Why is it always poorly cooking king with the... What the fuck? Too much. You get the cap there, honey. Thank bitch, you. take the cap. A little initial coating spritz there on the pan. One more? One more? One more? As it warms up. One more? No, not one more. Next, Damn. what we're gonna do... Because we're going to open up the fan on to the veggies and the steak here and get it ready. So I think it's a pull tab, right? Uh -huh. Very good. Ooh. Easy, simple. Mm, very fragrant as well. Uh -huh. Now we're also going to open the steak, which I'm not sure if that has a pull tab or nope. yet. Cut to open. Cut that. All right, we're chopping that up. Careful. Mm, careful. All right. As you can see, already pre-cooked. All we need to do is basically fry it in the pan and warm it up. So our pan is just about ready. What we're gonna do is toss all those those two ingredients in, and then we're gonna add our fajita seasoning mix, and we're gonna stir it around for about three to six minutes. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do right now, live with you guys. First, let's actually toss the meat in, get that getting warm. The meat will take longer than vegetables. Well, keep in mind the meat's that's already gross. cooked. Mm -hmm. But if you Begged want to make steak. steak, it would take much longer than if we exactly. got the vegetables. So add the vegetables second. Begged Obviously, fucking if you're steak. cooking raw meat, it's gonna take a significantly longer amount of time to make this dish. You have to cook the raw meat first that's and then actually nasty. separate it from the pan. Here we go. Evenly distributed. Okay. Let's go ahead and dump the veggies in. That is not supposed to be My bad. Grab that, sweetie. There we go. Get us a preservative packet. Yep. Yep. All right, there you go. Yep. So while she goes ahead and tosses that, I'm going to start to slowly stir my ingredients. Like remember, I said three to six minutes. A lot of times you're making stuff veggies. like this, you can Holy eyeball shit. This is one of the easiest dishes to eyeball. Because as I said, the meat's already pre-cooked. You're not worried about the meat being... Raw, you're more worried about just getting it to a temperature where it's flavorful. Uh -huh. Try not to burn the you know how meat, else you don't grow the meat raw? Just cook your fucking meat, bro. Onions will caramelize uh -huh. as they fry. That's fact, how that you don't there, worry about, about, meat, about meat being raw. So you cook the meat. Now, during this period of time, it right, right, three hours. Holy shit, this is such a long fucking strain. Why? And get a few of them ready. For what? There was no purpose of this shit. I just so killed myself, basically. The the tortilla, and, uh, once we get this going, okay? I'm also going to get a cup, or a quarter cup of water. Which I've already pre-measured. already prepared, a quarter cup, all right? Uh -huh. We're going to add this in a moment. We're not going to do it yet. We're going to stir this around a little bit. But that's all we're going to add in our seasoning to our fajita mix here. Ooh, it smells good already. Oh, uh -huh. it smells so good. Mm, yeah. You didn't cook anything. I'll start to sizzle. Just fucking put it in the pan, bro. Mm -hmm, I can see. I don't think the camera can so good, but... <laughs> Well, it's low light. Unfortunately, one of my light bulbs blew out in the kitchen the other day. I haven't had a chance to replace it. It yet. still is? What the fuck? All right, Bro, so just fucking frying up here. Give it a second here. What we're gonna do is constantly gonna fucking and you can do it blowing out my bones. You mix like this. this is obviously the easiest thing to do. You can do your own blends, and right? Such. And we we, did, we went to the supermarket. We saw a ton of different blends. Yeah, uh, there, there's ones for tacos. There's ones for fajitas. They even specialize depending on what you want to do because different items like fajitas and tacos have <clears> different uh, different ingredients. Very zesty. Give it a whiff. Woo. Zesty spice. Woo. It's gonna be good. We're not gonna add all of them. I'm only gonna add some. Of them. No, only add a little. So Otherwise, it'll be too spicy. It's fucking cumin paprika. Right, so we're finally getting a good sizzle. It's probably been in here cumin, for about three minutes now. Cumin paprika, garlic powder. If you're lazy. Mm. If you're not mm, lazy, you know garlic. Very aromatic. Maybe good onion powder or actual onions if you can. If you're not lazy, there's onions in that. So it's onion on. It's like double onion. We actually did buy chicken mm -hmm. at the store as well. We can do the same exact thing with it. Yeah, you could do chicken. You could do steak. Look at this clothes I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. so yeah. What is this? As well. That's trash you content. You can really do anything. If, if, as long Unengaged as you're cooking the meat properly. Unengaged caster. Trash. And the veggies. 
trash drain. I'm sorry. I thought it would take an hour. I paused too much. Too many water trips. Oh my god, POV. Go ahead and pour that water. Go ahead. Point of view water pour. It's good. It's like a, it's like a mm -hmm. fucking QTE. Yeah. So what that's going to do, it's going to help us to distribute the spice. Rather than it being just a dry spice, it's now going to create a minor broth. Mm -hmm. well, you can kind of see it at the bottom there. Right, it'll seep into the meat and the vegetables. Because if you don't put it in, what'll happen is that it could actually stick to the pan, and it'll be all nasty, that's right. and it'll take forever to wash if you don't have a dishwasher. So burn out dry residue at the bottom of your pan, that is absolutely correct. Yeah, and it won't be as tasty. All right, so I'm going to up the heat one more time. Probably going to go to around seven and a half, almost eight, because I want to get that sizzle going. And right now, because we added the water, we actually calmed down the sizzle yes. a little bit. Mm, look at my, that broth. It's that already sizzling. You can dude. see the smoke now. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. It smells delicious. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and stir this sucker up. Mm, now you can smell. You can smell the meat cooking. You can smell the vegetables starting to. Mm -hmm. If you look closely that. at the vegetables, yeah, you'll see the, the onions are caramel. You'll see a little bit of a, a marking. Mm -hmm. And we got, I can smell, definitely smell the seasoning as well. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do is once this is done in about another minute or two, we're going to put this directly into the tortillas. And I'm going to show you my techniques for making it. However, there are many things that you can add. Some people like to add shredded cheese. We're going to do that, actually. We're going to mm -hmm. add some shredded Mexican cheese, which I'll grab out of the fridge in a second. Some people like to actually eat uh, fajitas with salsa, which we mm -hmm. actually have, and we will be doing mm -hmm. that. I love eating it with salsa. And some people actually like it with sour cream. Mm -hmm. I, I do, but not to the extent where that's all I would eat it with. So I'm going to actually have some sour cream with mine today. But I'm also going to have it with salsa. I am not a fan of sour cream at all. Well. There goes your alarm, honey. Uh, I'll hold the camera for a minute while you go okay. turn it off. <laughs> Poor planning on our part. Well, we knew it was coming. Okay, I'm back. It's almost ready. This is, I mean, once it starts going like this, this is a good sign. This means you've got mm, I'm getting a nice extreme close-up of this delicious food. Yeah, look at the, look at the onions. Basically, look mm. for the onions to be see-through if you don't know what caramelizing it. Because if they're, if they're opaque, if they're white, you can't see through them. That means they're still raw. Right. And raw onions, some people like it. I don't. All right, so while that finishes up, let me grab the cheese. We're going to need it. Look at me. I'm cooking. Form our fajitas in their Ooh. final form. Look at that sizzle and that bubble. The final form. You can get any kind of cheese. We got four cheese Mexican. From Sargento. <laughs> we don't get that cheap cheese. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing there. <laughs> this isn't even a really expensive dish to make. Oh, this is cheap. I mean, when you think about it, the, pre the pre-made meat we got, buy one, get one free, wasn't even five bucks. Cheese is pretty cheap. The, the tortillas are cheap. The veggies, if, you know, if you're making, if you actually wash and cut your own, ours were a little more expensive because we got the pre-cut pre ones. Made it easier for us, but, you know, my whole point here at Poorly Cooking with the King is showing you easy, quick meals as someone who maybe is a little bit busy as a gamer. You don't want to A college there. student. True. College student, perfect. You don't want to be sitting in your, standing in your kitchen for 45 minutes to cook something for yourself every day. This is a good way to do a quick meal. We're, we're pretty much almost done. As you can see, the onions are almost perfect. Mm -hmm. So in a moment, we're going to actually serve. Mm -hmm. This is a great this is a great meal for families, too, because you can add whatever meat you want. You can do whatever variation of vegetable, whatever seasoning. This really is one of those things you could mix and match right, here in case. One, one final note, I have been using a wooden spoon, because if you wooden use anything that's spoon. like a metal, you'll your, your nonstick pan. And you'll ruin it. This is, this is an instance where you're actually just I thought serving you, a lot. You're not just serving. I thought you didn't, though. Your pan. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty much set. I just turned it down to simmer. For the final little simmering, as you can see, most of the water that we added is almost gone, which is good. It means it's in the food now. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to, you don't want to pour it out while there's tons right. of liquid at the bottom. So let's go ahead. You got a great idea is that for an ad. What the fuck? And you can't believe that no one else has thought of it yet. You're sure this idea would will be soaked, and then they're nasty. We're gonna fucking serve. please, so serve. just stop. Stop, stop his fucking Straight punishment. Pan, into the tortilla. On a good variety. Of I can't. And veggies. Into that tortilla. There you go. It's a good example of one. Mm -hmm. Power. Probably a tiny bit more. Mm, man, this smells delicious. There you go. Now what you do, put on whatever toppings you see appropriate. So in this case, as I said, some delicious four or uh, four cheese. Yeah, Mexican. four cheese Mexican blend. Sprinkle that right on top while it's still warm. So it'll actually melt a tiny bit into your fajita. All right. Now a trick that I learned that I've been using as I make these. Tuck the end. Mm-hmm. Tuck the end, roll, okay, and as you roll over like this, grab a toothpick and stick it through. You feel it poke your finger, let go, grab another toothpick, cross it over, stick it through. Now you're free to serve your other fajitas and you don't have to worry about this one unrolling. Perfect. That's my, and it's perfect for dipping because like I said, we're going to have salsa, sour cream. You just dip it right into those toppings, lift it up and eat. Mm -hmm. So that's it for the basic stir fry steak fajitas. Nothing to it. Super easy. Hope I gave you some good ideas on variations and stuff. Mm -hmm. and for Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Poorly Oh my god. Yo, holy shit. It actually says the name of the title in order. We fucking, we fucking made it. To the end, holy shit. And that porn looks so fucking poor.
cooking with a cane. God damn, and today what shit. we're going to do is an unprecedented event. Today's the very first time where I am going to be cooking multiple courses <laughs> in a meal. However, I'm going to be still using my old philosophy and tenet that we don't want to spend too much time cooking because we don't have a lot of time. We're all busy people. We could pasta. still make full entertaining meals with multiple courses if we get the right stuff. So what we're going to do today <laughs> is we're going to do a pasta. simple Caesar salad using several ingredients. We're also going to show you a variant where you can use chicken in it if you would like. We're also he going to be making her. too it's many pretty, pizzas. It's pretty, it now, is pretty on unreal. Cooking with the King, I did make a larger size of pizza. Shouts to God presents for holding Today it down. we're going to be using their mini crusts to make too many pizzas with some really good ingredients that you can get at your local supermarket that really kick it up a notch and make it a lot better than those grocery freezer pizzas. Man, it was still all around because I'm putting down so already. So the first thing that you're going to do when you're making this meal Holy, is you can warm up your oven. Oh, that's so a, that's the pizza dough will offensive, cook properly. TBH. And unfortunately, my oven is a little bit on the older side. It takes quite a while to warm up to 450 degrees. So what we've done is we're preheating Bubbly. the oven. It's going to take the about fuck? 20 to 25 minutes to get there. Right now, it's not even at 200 degrees yet. So what we decided to do was prepare the rest of the meal first while we're waiting for the oven to heat up to save time. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a simple Caesar salad. Now, you might be saying, oh, salad is a pain in the ass to make. You have to get all the components, wash them, and so on and so forth. Normally, I would yeah, agree with you. so but aggressive. You can actually Holy buy shit. ingredients that are ready to go That's right such an aggressive back. comment. So we got here. We've got romaine hearts are traditionally what is made in a Caesar salad. So, we've got the hearts of romaine. Uh, pre-washed, by the way. This is pre-washed, right pre-cut. We've got crumbles of bacon. Are they not going to wash that? Also, there's so much fucking bacon in this shit. Holy fuck. So much pre-cut. We have never seen... We saw Phil cut a veggie once and it was peppers. He's never cut lettuce in a video yet. All this pre-cut fucking lettuce. And fucking pre-crumbled bacon? Motherfucker, just fucking make some bacon. You have so much of it. There's so much bacon in all of these. It's like 90% bacon. We're not talking about those bacos or all that fake stuff. We're talking real bacon that's been crumbled up and easily usable in a salad. You mean those hard red bacon bits? All right, the ones that are fake as hell. They're not very good. You've got Caesar flavored croutons. You can actually buy these in a bag themselves. By the way, can you get the dressing, honey? We didn't take it out. Uh, these are already pre-flavored to taste like a Caesar kind of a deal, and you just toss them right into your salad. We've got the classic grated Parmesan cheese mm. right out of your local grocer. What's wrong? I don't like cheese on my salad. We had it last time. You loved it. Uh. I don't want it this time. Well, it. how are we going to do this then? We're well, going to have to do it separately. Fine. I will have the cheese. I will pick the cheese. This out. is traditionally, a lot of people say, what is the cheese that you put in Caesar? Traditionally, it's supposed to be shredded Parmesan that you put in a Caesar salad. Some people do variants. I've seen people do all kinds of crazy stuff, but I this is traditional. Cheddar. All right. Cheddar. Now, some people say that a Caesar salad should have anchovies. The truth of the matter is that the traditional old school Caesar salad, some of them did have anchovies, but we're not doing that because we don't want that. And then last but not least, your choice of Caesar dressing. We're not going to, we didn't go for a creamy Caesar. We went for a more oily, uh, oily lighter Caesar, extra virgin olive oil. You know, obviously, none of these brands have to be what you use, but this is what we're going to use to make our simple Caesar salad. Paste, so you don't even need the answer. There you go. So it's already in the dressing. All right. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to make our Caesar salad mixture in a large bowl. Okay. This is pretty easy to do if you would like to hold the camera, honey. No problem. What we're going to do before we even start this is we have this chicken component. Hold the now, camera, a lot of people bitch. like chicken Caesar salad rather than a regular Caesar salad. I love chicken Caesar salad. So what we're going to do, we're going to nuke this pre-cooked chicken. Now, we did this uh, on a previous cooking with the king with, with steak. You can also get it in chicken. All this is a chicken breast that they've chopped up. It's pre-cooked. We're going to toss this into the microwave oven. We're going to nuke it so that it basically thaws out. And we can use this some in the salad and some for our pizza because it's going to be way too much for just the two pizzas. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All you need to do is cut it open. Now, if you're watching this far, which you're, which you're not, no one's watching this far. But if you are, you just... Flat on the plate. Just so happens this is a half pound. Okay. You just watch okay. me fucking look at that bottle. It's cooked, you, so you don't worry about touching it. Oh no, I got you know salmonella. No, it's already pre-cooked. I'm We're sorry. Right the microwave. We'll do. I don't know. Let's say I think we could do the other one for three and a half minutes. Was it? Let's do it for three, three minutes. I apologize. Three minutes. Okay. Boom. So that's already new things. So now we move on to our. Where's this here. Chad mail right here? And Chad, honestly, Chad yeah, alpha mail. You're gonna put it in dog. Is you're gonna put it in your lettuce. Let's open that. Yeah. Again, this is pre-washed lettuce. No prep time needed, it's already washed and clean and good to go. Toss it right in your bowl. There you go. Next, we'll do some croutons. Mmm. Let me see their flavor croutons. And these are the dark and light mixed ones. Some people have a preference of one or the other. I prefer the light, but I do I do both. Only a few left will probably get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Not enough for another Sex joke. Okay. Next. Spread in your bacon bits. Mm, I love bacon bits. You probably want to do this by hand. How is this 20 or minutes? Just dump the whole bag in. Well, if you dump it in, you're gonna oh, have the mini pizzas. The okay, sure. Bacon's gonna be in a big clump. If you do this, you can make sure there's no clumps in the bacon and separate it by Who hand. Who cares? It's bacon. Probably a tiny bit more here. Ignored. All right. Panda ignored. Parmesan cheese. No, the, parma the Parmigiano. Reggiano. Mm, Come on. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. 
shredded. This is the way to do it in a salad. Shredded. You could shred it yourself and save money because when you buy things pre-cut and pre-shredded, you typically do pay more, but, but if you point, have the time. Exactly. The whole point here is that we're the kind of people we don't have a ton of time. You're lazy. You got a mouse in your pocket. Just sit here and make you know meals for four hours a day. And then finally. Yeah, he'll expect me to do that one himself. The Caesar dressing, <laughs> which I'm going to let you put in because I'd like you to put in this. I don't want you to, to do it too overpowering and you don't like it. I love this stuff. What are you smoking? So she's going to put the Caesar dressing in. In the meanwhile, I'm getting the salad, so, uh, and or spatula. She's are so you know snippy. No, this is what we, I used to use. I used to work at a health store when I was in high school. We used store? to use this to mix up people's salads. Okay. So that's good enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Say it. Camera again. Mm -hmm. I Say the wine. I would be tossing mix, the salad. Mix or toss the salad. Feels very good to toss the salad. One hand to hold the bowl. I'm professional salad tosser. Feels good. This for a living. Yes. And you professional salad tosser. Feels very good at tossing salad. A couple jumpers. That's okay. And that's how you toss out very basic. You always have to have one hand to hold. If you don't, you try to do it like this, that ball's going to fly right off the counter. That's right. happened to me when I was learning how to do it. Oh, sweetie. Mm, and just in time, the chicken's done. So let's take a look. Does the chicken look done? The chicken is steaming. It's steaming hot, ready to go. The plate's also extremely hot. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Try to spread it out here. Are they all cooked? With, with like the hands, the raw hands. Huh. So what we could probably do, because as you can see, Put back in. are going to not have a lot of space for chicken. So I figure we'll split the chicken between the salad and the pizzas, right? So let's go ahead and we'll take some of the pieces that I feel are cooked. I'm That's losing cold. my mind at this. Holy shit. Let me toss them in. Oh, that was freaking real hot. Damn. <laughs> Be careful. Remember, everybody, safety first. <laughs> Probably like one or two more pieces. Yeah, one or two. We don't want to overdo it. You know, okay. We still want it for the pizza, too. There you go. Drop my hand in. It's pre-cooked, so keep in mind, I'm not getting salmonella on my hands. Mm -hmm. But if you are working with, uh, with uncooked chicken, make sure that you wash your hands before handling any other products mm. for fear of cross-contamination. No fucking so shit, Pandoli. Thank you for that one. I really appreciate I'm it, man. I'm going to toss the salad some more. I'm going to fucking mm, lose it. I'm going to lose everything. Man. Tossing that chicken. And that salad's pretty much done at this point. All you need is a, 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 a bowl, single serve, as I'll show you here. It's got two bowls, one for each of us. Put that right into the bowl. Boom. Boom. This would be easier if you had a salad server. All right, which I don't. Men. And there you have it. A couple pieces that got loose, but here's your very basic Caesar salad. And if you so desire, you can even garnish it a little bit more. A tiny bit more of a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese on top like that. Ooh, fancy. Or maybe a couple of more croutons or bacon, depending on what your personal preference is, okay? That's the salad. It's done. Now, as you can tell, our oven's not ready yet. When our oven's ready, it beeps. So we didn't waste any time. We're using the time waiting for the oven to heat up in order to make all of the components of our meals. So now we're going to move on over to the pizzas. We're going to use some fresh ingredients to actually make these really delicious. So the first mm -hmm. thing I'll do is grab a spoon, and we're going to put on this pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. And the fresh ingredients don't even take up extra time. Again, you don't need to use the brands that we use. This was something we found locally at our local uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. Pizza, not restaurant, uh, shopping center. You know, mm -hmm. It's called the Big Grocery Y store. Market, whatever. Fresh pizza ingredients. Sauce, okay. You want to get some of this pizza sauce. You get pasta sauce, it's going to taste like ragu or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is the good stuff. It should say pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. and fresh homemade. You can see it right there. Home, homemade mini pizzas. So those crusts are not homemade. I'm fairly certain of that. That's some packaged ass fucking pre-shredded cheese, because of course it is. Uh, tomato sauce from a fucking jar, which I'm not gonna shame you for that. Whatever, it's, you're not gonna make tomato sauce. What the fuck? Who does? That's stupid. And uh, pre-cut lettuce, because that's how we do it over here. That's how we do it in my. Is that? Can I find that? Can I? Can I find that? Oh, it's it's a it's garden, not kitchen. Yeah, it is. Either way, shit. That's how we do it in my garden. Kitchen. All right, problem solved. Find a different clip too. That's how we do it in my garden. It sounds different than the first one. That's how we do it in my garden. Yeah, it sounds different than the first one. The fuck. That's how we do it in my garden. I thought it was, I thought it was Michael Jordan. When's the album? No. The music video go fuck you, fuck you. Alright, fine then. LeBron Jam. Play LeBron, LeBron. No. Not what I want. You fucking bitch. 
YouTube, you fucking well. I'm at, okay. I'm 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 in I'm in that mode. No. God, I just want to find. Yeah, thank you. Shout out to Distant Cry for holding it down. He makes some trash ass beats. Love that dude. Number 20? Fuck it. It's kinda good actually. Yo, where's Louie? Distant Cry. Back, at, back in the fat. So oh, it smells absolutely amazing. LeBron should steal this and call cooking the king. LeBron steal this idea. Sauce hey LeBron, steal, steal, so steal That's something else. Brand. Make, make Again, this, make this a thing. Again, you can make this a local thing. supermarket, or you can make your own pizza dough if you really want to spend that amount of time. You know it, I mean? it is very time consuming, though. That's probably the most time consuming part of your the Your mom's already time consuming. And rolling it out. And... So you can just make these pre-made crusts. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put more sauce on this one. And this is the best way to distribute pizza sauce. You scoop, and then you spread with the bottom of your spoon. You don't want to. You don't want to drench it. You just want to have like this previous right. pizza. You want to cover wanna, it because that, that, that's actually a problem. If you put too much sauce on a pizza later on, it just explodes when you go to eat it. Mm -hmm. The sauce will run everywhere. You want to be sure that's just enough to cover the surface. You want to leave a space around the edges so that you have a crust you can grab onto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. To the edge. Very good. Mm, delicious. Let's sink for now. All right, so next, before you start to put any other ingredients on, you have to put a layer of cheese. Now, we've got two different varieties of cheese that we've selected. Basic mozzarella, that's what goes on most pizzas. We also have this four-cheese pizzeria mix that was available. There's mozzarella, cheddar, smoked provolone, and sharp provolone. So we're going to put a layer of that on first. Mm -mm -mm. You can hear, oh, it's not even ready yet, so we are not wasting any time. Mm -hmm. This already contains shredded mozzarella, but we do like the taste of mozzarella on top. You, of course, don't have to add more mozzarella. You can add more of whatever cheese suits you. There's all kinds of uh, cheeses you can put on pizza. Isn't that right? Sure, but it's gonna, it'll actually. This really motherfucker is making lunch bowls. Of course. Do. So, if you want to go, we want more Italian style. Mm -hmm. If you want to go with just plain mozzarella, a lot of people like that. They think that it's weird to have other che uh, cheeses on a pizza. He's making fucking so people go crazy lunch with, like, bowls out here. Pizza with cheddar and stuff like that, but we're not going that crazy mm -hmm. today. It all depends on what else you want to put with it. All right, so we've got our first initial layer of cheese. Oh, it has a belly button. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna very gently apply some critical spices to the pizza. First thing we're gonna do regular salt, kosher salt. Very. Critical spices. Salt, mm -hmm. salt really does sprinkle. make all the difference. Tiny sprinkle. Not right? too much. Which is fucking yeah. salt. Then. You saw your cheese on there. Out. Cheese is salty as fuck. Not too much. You don't want to. You don't want to see an overwhelming spot of it. You just want to do a light dash. There you go. I'm gonna end myself. There you go. Okay. In my in now on to the Roblox. More seasonings. And these seasonings are catered more towards Italians. If you're not Italian, you don't like these kind of seasonings. You don't have to use them. But I'm Italian. And I love it first. Mixed basil and garlic. Garlic is like an essential thing to all Italian food, and I could not eat pizza without garlic. If you're not you Italian, you like these garlic, seasonings. <laughs> Spread it on. You can smell the garlic already. Overwhelming Ooh. coming through, right? Next, oregano. Mm. This is one of the most aromatic mm, oh. herbs that you can get. Oh, it's, it smells so good. And when they, they actually have oregano and like shredded uh, Parmesan cheese at like rush, at uh, like pizza restaurants. Right. That's what the, that's what that dark thing is. Now to kick it up a notch, we're gonna do something a lot of people don't do: fresh cilantro. I picked it out. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of Yo. people don't do this in their pizza. Mm -hmm. responsible just because it's fresh doesn't mean it will take more time. Cilantro is one of the like, quickest things to add to just kick this. up the flavor. It looks like a just looks like, like a little like a stem without a flower. Yeah. All you do is you pull the leaf off. You might you crumble it up a little bit and just toss it on there. Again, very aromatic. You're gonna smell it's so pasta. distinct. The cilantro leaf right is down such the a distinct don't smell anything. and adds such a distinct flavor to your pizza. Just feel it in your throat. Fire. Head over here. Grind it up a little bit. 
Mm. Oh man, you, I wish you guys could smell this yeah, through the so video. Yeah, it's so refreshing. It's such a refreshing scent. If you've never smelled cilantro before, when you next time you're in a supermarket, go grab some and give it a whiff. You'll be like, wow, that is really a refreshing scent. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's about it for this one. Don't use the stems, by the way. Yeah. Only the leaves. You don't want to get stems in there. Mm -hmm. So now we've got our first layer of seasonings. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a second layer of cheese, and then we're going to start laying in our toppings. Okay. So our second layer of cheese, we're just going to do plain, plain mozzarella. Mm -hmm. I love mozzarella. What's your favorite kind of pizza, Phil? Hmm. I don't know if I have a favorite kind. I am a I mean, professional so salad tosser. That's the thing. That's, so that was close. Ways. I'm sorry. You can pizza. You can make thin crust. You can make thick style. I'm just York feeling style. it right now. You know what I'm saying? Deep dish. Deep dish, which we had in Chicago last year. I mean, there's just so many varieties. Deep dish pizza? I like margarita pizzas, but if I pick meat, it's usually either bacon or some kind of pepperoni. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we got our second layer of mozzarella cheese on there. That's why we're going to use the topping as well, so I'll leave that out. What now it's time it? for the serious toppings. Anyone, you, know, you can do whatever you want, meats, whatever. Today we're going to go a little bit more healthy route. We're going to choose some fresh-cut peppers. These are peppers that were already pre-chopped, and they package them like this. You can buy them at the local uh, restaurant, or not restaurant, a supermarket. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with, the, obviously, the chicken. So let's first of all open up the peppers. Mm. All kinds of colors, too. Yeah. Uh, traditionally, it's red peppers that are on pizza, though, like the, the number one color. Red and green. Yeah. I'll say I've seen the most red and green. And every once in a while, you get a yellow. A lot of people like banana peppers, mm. but that's a different kind of pizza. That totally changes the flavor of your pizza. Mm, yeah, different peppers all have different flavors, and these aren't spicy. No, these are the no. more milder peppers. They do a tiny bit of a kick, but it's more of a, a flavor. Shout to Kirk for one of them. Yeah, there's no burn or heat. All right, probably put one or two more. Come on, on actually, mm, I, I think about it. Like this raw when I was very, Who the very fuck little. is that? Is very that young lady? The, the baby with the treads? Okay, terrifying. So peppers, right? Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna go with the chicken, which has been waiting over there since we warmed it up for the salad. Mm-hmm. Still, still warm. Not totally burning hot, but... Right, and the thing is, if some of these are cold, that's fine, because this is going in the oven, so this is actually going to warm up uh, as it's in the oven. Mm -hmm. And this is also going to make the, the chicken more flavorful, putting it in the oven, instead of just sure. nuking it. absolutely. Nuking anything will take a lot of the natural flavors out. But certain things that you can nuke, and they will be fine. Like chocolate. Mm. Well, that was the baby, huh? You can, yeah, you can microwave chocolate. I'm not a chocolate, a chocolate chef. I am. Was it really not him well, who used to, like, pee at somebody? Any. Okay, another few smaller pieces. Who threw pee at somebody? There you go. Hmm. All right. So there are too many pizzas, right? Now, as I said, we have to finish this off. I'm going to rinse off my hand briefly here because I just had a ton of things on it. We're going to finish it off with a final layer of cheese and a final layer of seasonings. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These, all, these pizzas already look good. If you toss in the oven now, it would, it would probably be great, but we're going to add even more cheese and more seasoning to make it the most flavorful pizza you could ever make at home. You don't want as thick of a layer as you had under it simply because... You don't want cheese oozing off the pizza, but yeah. you want enough that it is going to melt over the top. You don't want to completely bury it. You want right. to still see the, your toppings, but you don't want... <laughs> you want some cheese on top of your toppings, usually. Hey, little taco, big ass. And when is Dawn the drop? Okay, and now, we go to a tiny little bit in the corner there, and then our final season. Is, is, Don, is Don to L? Hold on. Ready. So we've wasted no time at all. Actually, actually, we're is it out? out? It's not out. Hmm. Oh, well, we have the four cheese with some mozzarella in it. All right, so the final seasonings, we're going to put a little bit more cilantro. We're not going to go nuts. At midnight? I think a fresh cilantro. It's right now. Put a few leaves on top. It's not out yet. It's a scam. We got scammed. Connie's never dropping. Just enough. Never. You're going to get a flavor for it. Connie, please. You want the whole pizza that just tastes like cilantro. You want all the different you flavors scammer. to come out as you eat it. Here we go. Connie, you, you fucking fire. scammer. Can't the believe you do this to us. Tiny more bit of oregano. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. That was it's a cum noise. Holy shit, Pamela, calm it's down. It's so aromatic. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Final sprinkling. That's too much. It'll melt right into the top layer of the cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are good to go. And what you would do, once your, your oven hits around 450 degrees, which I believe it close to, we're at four, over 400 now, it's getting up there. You toss this in the oven for about... Eight to ten minutes. You don't want to go over. If you go over, your crust is going to become very, very hard and crispy. So it all depends on how. If you like really crispy crust, but you want to change it out now. Burning the edges. It's not out yet. We're going to put it in for exactly the ten, and we're going to see how it turns out. So we'll be back after these have. Uh, please just cooked, put it in the oven for me, no. please. Well, fast forward a good ten minutes. We cooked these in the oven now after it has been warmed up, and here they come. Mm. Look at that. Beautiful, multiple kinds of melted cheese. You can see what happened as the ingredients spread out on the pizza bread as it cooked. And this is good to go. You can I eat fucking can. With a fork and Are we done? You can chop it up with a pizza cutter, which is probably what we'll attempt to do. Mm. And it's delicious. And let me tell you, see, you see this little... Sniff. Mm. The ingredients spread out on the pizza bread as it cooked. And this is good to go. You can eat... Okay, last, like, minute or so in, like, actual speed. Eat it literally with a fork and knife. It's so you can slow. chop it up with a pizza cutter, which is probably what we'll attempt is to do. Drunk? 
Mm. And it's delicious. And let me tell you, see, see the cilantro? Mm. See oh, snort. The ingredients mm. are mixed in within there. That's how you get a good pizza. If Your mom's a good pizza. Melted into the cheese, these are the touches that make the it cheese? great. Not just a stupid frozen pizza from, you know, your grocer, and you toss it in, you cook it, it comes out. It doesn't have all this fresh ingredients. So this is you can add it. And by fucking... the way, we did that in what? Half hour, I'd say? What do you think they made at the grocer? Do you think they just, like, they, like, made, like, a fake pizza? They did what you did, you fucking asshole. They bought a fucking pre-made crust and put some cheese and, like, sauce on that bitch. You can add your own spices, you little fucking... Whatever. I'm, 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 I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm tired. I'm pissed. Hour, maybe a little over. And by the way, we've eaten the, our salad already in the time that this was cooking. Of course so they did. Ready to go. It's agreed. Chop this up, let it cool down for a minute, and enjoy a delicious homemade pizza. Pizza. Mm -mm. So that's it. Thanks for Panda joining Lee us on Poorly Cooking with the King. And oh, me. Is, uh, oh, yes. I said us. Silly. The mm, King well, and me. Poorly Cooking with the King and me. <laughs> and, uh, Poorly Cooking you know, King with the and, and uh, me. And hopefully this is a recipe that you will add to your repertoire. What recipe? Uh, you fucking put these store -bought ingredients. cheese on pizza so dough. Everyone. See you next time. Mm, bye bye. That was fucking exhausting. Holy shit. Those were not meant to ever be watched in that manner. And this is a four-hour stream because, of course, it is because I'm a great person. So, uh, with that in mind, me being a great person, I'm going to watch a nothing video, but I'm going to pretend to put a video on. Hello, Hello everyone. I'm gonna look at the hamsters. There she goes. That died. She's trying. These hamsters are fucking dead, by the way. Bones at this point. But, uh. uh anyways, I. This is me, the guy, the dude, and the lad, Scum God. Sanctification. And I. Suppose I shall bid you. Adieu.